Hello, Internet. I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are joining me for another art stream. It has been way too long since I've done one of these. I have been really busy. Like, really busy. And, like, I was even gonna be late for this stream really busy. I was just running around, actually. I'm trying to get my tablet now. I was, like, so not prepared to do all of this right now. In fact, I think I even gotta move some of my stuff here just to make sure that I can even get this done like my camera's kind of in my way right now anyway hi how are you guys doing we're gonna be listening to some uh, Metroid music I've got uh, this I was working on just for funsies honestly and um, from here I've also got some work we can start doing on uh, my graphic novel I'll have that up there in um, the corners, you know, up here, other tabs, but for now, I just wanted to jump in here because I have another character I was going to add in here, which was basically the uh, gravity suit for Samus, and I've actually got a picture I wanted to work from here, or rather, I'm using the Samus Returns art, so I'm going to see what I can do for um, getting that reference image somewhere that I can see it, you guys don't need to see it, though. Oh, it's somewhere in this folder it's with all that Uncharted stuff I just needed um, for this week's video. All right, here we go. I'll just pull it up over on the side. You guys won't have to look at it while I'm trying to do this. Um, also, I can throw this background on just to, like, see what I'm doing a little bit better. But we're going to try and go in here and make inks. We need some inks. Um, oh, cool. My computer's not rendering or loading the picture I just clicked on to see like come on computer do you think hey Gabriel how you doing there I go now I can see what I'm doing man my nose is running so bad today good this is working all my buttons I haven't actually gotten to draw in months it's been a really long time um it's not just uh, work stuff being kind of crazy because it has whoa is it just changing the size of my uh, brush it better not have been no that was this I'm gonna turn that off um, I'm gonna start with like the helmet if I can get anything in here working right we definitely don't want a brush like this I'm gonna do inks first so we want a hard round, and it's got to be a lot smaller than that. I don't know what size I was using. That would have been important to write down, wouldn't it? Um, see what this looks like compared to... Oh, well, also, apparently that opacity is way off. We want that at 100. And why is it still screwy? Oh, because I'm working on my sketch layer. It's not too good. Let's try this again. Now we got inks. It's a little fat. Finally, uh, someone else. There's been there's been other people here. You guys gotta talk to me here. This is your opportunity to the chitty chat. Well, also, I should be joined later by Squad Fam in uh, the Academy room. Which, by the way, anybody in the um, Bomb Squad Elite tier on Patreon can also jump in and voice chat. Uh, if your nose is running and your feet small, you just might be upside down. What? Okay. All right, you do you, man. <laughs> I'm gonna drop this to maybe 17. See if 17 is it's still a little fat. Maybe 15. That's probably what we want. Okay, so um, where's everybody else? Iris, Cameron, other guy. <laughs> And Thomas, yeah, um, I don't know, you know, I announced this, I'll let you guys know on Discord I was going to be doing this all day. Well, I'm, by that, of course, I mean earlier today, not like, for sure, this is happening. Um, I'm going to, mm, I'm manipulating an image so that I can see, the problem is, like, the art I'm seeing for uh, Samus's helmet is all from the front trying to find a good like option so I can see this a little bit better 
because it is really a uh, it's a nice helmet and I want to do it right. I still feel it's a little large, so I'm going to shrink us down to 10. Yeah, that's better. Alright, hopefully I can get this done right. I'm going to do the side we can see better so I can first learn about what this shape even is. So I could probably, like, mess with this and get it done, you know, correctly anyway. Um, there is a weird orb thing I gotta do. Um, you know, that's not so bad if I actually, like, exaggerated the edge of it. Because I think it's... I don't know, it, it goes at a weird angle. I also, um, probably should get some work on my, uh, graphic novel done, but the, wow, we don't want that eraser. The thing is, I haven't, um, done this in a long time. I'm, I'm just being bad, apparently. I have a lot of work I gotta get done. And, uh, the graphic novel is something that I really should have been doing, you know, I need Anyway, this is, um... <clears throat> hey, Bustina, this is the Samus Returns uh, soundtrack that we're listening to right now. By the way. Whoops! Got a little dot in there. That stuff will show up. Hey, Lucina, how you doing? Um, and Christopher, how are you guys? I am, like, very busy lately. Starting a new job. In fact, I work again tomorrow. Um, it is taking a lot of my time, unfortunately. But, you know, um, just gotta do it. You know, don't really have much of a choice. Um, this is uh, just to fill the void for no Metroid Prime 4 <laughs> info, right? You know, I like Metroid anyway, so... I was just gonna sit down and start working on, you know, whatever my favorite game was, and I was like, well, you know, it's Metroid. That's just what my favorite game happens to be. So, I mean, it doesn't really... I mean, it doesn't fill much void for me anyway. Um, so it looks like there's, like, this, uh... shape that kind of cuts into it like this. I'm looking at a reference image right now, by the way. If you don't see what I'm doing. Actually, the, the line is much higher. Like up here. Like that. Uh, how did you do. How. Wait, how did you with Q Charm? What? Okay. Oh, so I also missed uh, another question there. Uh, finding good reference can be a struggle sometimes, especially with specific poses. Yeah, and the thing is, there's only one uh, image for this. I'm just going to let you guys see it. Um, I have to see it a lot bigger, but I'm just going to pull it up so you guys can see it. Um, give me a moment. I'm going to try and find it here. Um, how? So how did I do with Q Charm Randomizer? I don't know what you mean. I haven't begun it yet. I have it. I have not begun it yet. Other guy, do you mean me or squad, Gabriel? I assume squad is other guy. Uh, yeah, squad. I'm okay, my boyfriend's uh, goddaughter died today. Drunk to all. Oh, no. Oh, he said so. I'm leaving him alone for a bit. I know he's gonna be okay. Oh, that's awful. That's really awful. I don't know what to say. That's just really awful. Yep, just awful. All kinds. Hey, look at that ginormous picture that I just pulled up out of nowhere. So, um, this is the reference image that I am working with right now. Oh, jeez, everything's in the way. Gotta put that back. I know, I know, I'm, I'm trying to fix it. New, there we go. <laughs> Let's put this somewhere else, like up here, because that's what I'm making. Sort of, it's just, you know, completely different pose. Um, also, hi! Hi, Rowan! I need, I need somebody in this voice chat. Keep me company from going crazy. Remember that one of my Academy stream about deer pooping Pepe, squad fam, his other guy. 
Yes. I'm gonna shrink this to a proper size. Man, Samus Returns has an awesome soundtrack. Like a friggin' killer soundtrack, man. It's awesome. Alright, so from here, this thing actually becomes the bottom of the helmet, it looks like. Like this. And then, um. It's kind of like arches down in the same way, comes up. Alright, then that gets filled black on here, so you know what? I'll fill it black, like so. So hopefully we don't screw this up too much. I feel like I'm already screwing it up, but whatever. Here, let's get a little bottom line on that thing. All right, um, the rest of her neck area is really weird. I'll get to that later. I can't even really see. Um, higher detail of uh, what's going on on the uh, side of this thing. I honestly have no idea, so I'm just going to have to make stuff up. It's funny that her uh, shoulders completely block her head in the side view. Well, yeah, they, they should. They're freaking huge. <laughs> hey, Drew's channel. How you doing? Funny that her uh, shoulders completely block her head. I'm going to do something real quick. Awesome. No problem. Alright, how about we get to the actual visor here, which um, needs to come down to a point and back out. Um, yeah, it probably would arch a bit like that. I'm, I, there's no good shot to show the side of this thing without, like you just said, the shoulder pads completely obscuring it. So, that is a problem with what I'm trying to do. This looks hard. It, it is. <laughs> but it's fun. Uh, the sad part about it is that she was only six and then she, and he wants revenge, but I told him I'd be sad if that happened. You, it's not, it's never a good way to, mm, I feel terrible for you. But this is just like such a dull, sad topic. We should probably save it for like Discord or something. You know what I mean? Because like at, right now, um, I don't know. I, I I am particularly doing this to try and de-stress. And um, no, obviously like things like that are just gonna you know, make this very tense. And I I hope that isn't the case for me and other people. So uh, don't take that the wrong way. You know what I mean? Uh, morning, and how are you today, slash night? Definitely night. It is a very late stream for me. Um, I'm doing this at, uh, 5.15 right now. And, um, I'm... I don't know. Maybe we can finish, uh, the inks for Samus. Um, uh, gravity suit should specify, because, uh, if I zoom back a bit, if you were a little late to the stream, uh, I have zero suit actually finished here fully colored and inked and everything. I was just doing that one offline. Um, I need to get this uh, gravity suit on here. No, nah, Chris, it, it's okay. Like I said, don't just don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> I feel really, really terrible about that. But yeah, don't... I know you, people involved are going to want to be very upset for a while, and it's not a very healthy reaction to that. So try and just uh, go one day at a time. Anyway, that'll be the last I say about that. We gotta, we gotta try and enjoy ourselves today. It's 2.14 for you. Ready for Go Fest. I haven't really played Go in a long time. I mean, I turn it on for like the daily rewards, but that's about it. All right, so I'm gonna shoot, I'm assuming this shoulder is really gonna cut us off there. So uh, let's not worry about that so much. Um, let's have that kind of come out a bit, and, uh, there we go. Um, so, from here we've also got that, that etched-in part, which should be 
about here, I think. It's kind of hard to see where it would be, you know. Yeah, this is kind of difficult. <laughs> Especially with a weird shaped mask like that, you know. Oh, well, I saw pixels. As soon as, it's like my rule. As soon as you see pixels, you're too close. Zoom out. Maybe it's not my rule. Maybe it's Kim's. But there. I said it. So that makes it mine. You'll get a Victini. It's kind of neat. I'll try and... I'll try and remember. I'm guessing Ridley is going to be in this picture at some point. You know, um... I actually did a sketch. I could probably... Actually, is it here? Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Like, physically in front of me. Yeah, right here. I actually got this drawing I did of, um... Some other Metroid stuff. I'm, you probably can't see it. Actually, it's showing up relatively well on there. So, I'll try and show you for what little it's worth. I did this drawing where I had, um... First game, Samus, um, back to back with herself. I was trying to do like, you know, you can see the Samus from that game in and out of her suit, and then like the enemies behind. Uh, the shadows were original Ridley, Kraid, and a Metroid, if you can even see those. They're just kind of penciled in. Um, I was gonna do basically like, I wanted an excuse to have like, you know, Justin Bailey art version of, um, old Samus and then you know work from there with uh, the new stuff but yeah it kind of evolved into this because I decided to do Samus Returns instead um, so yeah that's my story <laughs> I hope that answered your question um, so anyway I'm sure I had other uh, things popping up in there um, any other Metroid memes? I can only think of memes for Ridley. What? Huh? I don't even know where you're going with that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That line lines up with this. So, let's just erase this out of it. Yeah, alright, that should be correct. So I think it's flush still. Um... I thought Pokemon Go was like Fortnite. No one really plays it much. Pokemon Go... Hold on, hold on. That whole sentence is so wrong. Okay, first off. Thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people play both of those games. So... I don't know where you're even getting that information. But anyway. Secondarily... Um, the games aren't even close to each other, so, yeah, I, 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 I have absolutely no idea where you're going with that. Alright, now I kind of need to move my own reference to see the back of the helmets, which is a big, uh, alright. Actually, no, 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 the front still. I'm gonna do this weird patterning on it. Um, Pokemon Go and Fortnite are a bit cancerous. Wow! Anyone plays Fortnite is too far gone. There's nothing wrong with Pokemon Go, man. Um, the heck you say? Go are not the same as Fortnite, because it's different, very big different. Um, well, here. There, I'm not gonna get into it right now, because I don't even know where the heck you guys are going with that to even, like, construct a proper argument, but you're not even backing your own up to where I can even understand where you're coming from with that. Pokemon Go is just a mobile free game. What's, you know, where, that's like, what does that have anything to do with Fortnite at all? I'm not seeing it, you know. All right, uh, there's also like uh, circular bolts things up here, it looks like. And, um, that comes under here. Ah, surface area. Awesome. According to this, I had some extra stuff on the mask that I didn't draw. Just because I can't see. 
Oh well. It'll be good enough. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll get like some glow effect in there later. I could swear that there's supposed to be something like, you know, lines and bolts like that on the side of this thing and I just can't see them. Because the freaking shoulder pads, man, I'm telling you. They're huge. They're so huge. Oh well. So, uh, <clears throat> just to let you guys know, um, there's some new games a coming. Um, and I know I have a bunch of stuff that I am supposed to be finishing. Um, I guess speaking of the finishing stuff, uh, I went back with Matt, played a little bit of Monster Hunter, and was able to kill a Latrion with him. Um, I, I guess it's a shame we were not able to get that, uh, live on camera, but we still did it. And, um, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's more like that. It arches down. So, um, anyway, I was able to finish Alatrion's armor, which is cool. Um, I was not, however, able to craft a... No, I was able to craft a weapon out of his. I was not able to max it because it needs one more dire wing. And uh, you can't get that just from a normal... Um, you know, like, body carve or, like, steel with the cat or something like that, you've got to actually, um, kill the guy for that thing and break his wings, so very unlikely for that to happen. Um, I'm debating on how to get this neck to look quite right because it's kind of a tough piece. Um, let me guess beta. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't build the alpha. I almost never build the alphas. Um, maybe I'm too close to even bother with this, like, uh, neck shape, and it really should just be like a, something like that. I don't know, it just seems a little wrong. Maybe. Maybe it really should be shaped like that. I'll fill this in later, I'm just trying to get the, the gist of the shape of this right, from the edge of the suit. It's probably like an Alpha Metroid or something. There are some sections on this that are just black, so hopefully that looks better whenever we do that. And I hope this gets me back in the mood of uh, drawing more often, because I can tell I get in uh, cycles where I'm like, oh, I really want to work on this, or I really want to do this. And um, I want to have that uh, productive itch back where I want to work on stuff like this frequently because I have a lot that I really want to do and I feel like if I don't do it soon, I won't do it because I know myself and that's not a good thing. I wonder if I should just like, you know, rib this somehow like that, or like that. Doesn't quite look right actually. So I'll do this to it. There, just to add a little something to it so I feel like it wasn't completely barren. <laughs> Alright, um, now... Looking at the rest of this. Um, what's your thoughts about the Nintendo Direct Mini? I mean, you saw my full reaction to it. If you didn't, there's a video. It's only three minutes. I cut down their ten-minute Direct into a three-minute reaction. And, um... That's about all that was necessary to sum it up. It was like, it was just kind of there. It happened, you know, I don't know what else to say about it other than what I did. Um, so, that's the end of that. Um, you know, I'm gonna just do my best to make a circle, which is really hard, actually. <laughs> oh God, just trying to do it chunk by chunk. I'm gonna edit as we go, just kind of like clean up some bits. Obviously, I still have Zero Suit's layer on right now, and I probably shouldn't whenever they overlap like that so I can see what I'm doing, because um, later I might want to move the two around independently from each other. We'll see. I don't know. But yeah, that basically, that direct was, um, how do I say this? 
Shin Megami Tensei 5, which, I mean, we already knew about it. We just needed to have them finally show us stuff for it, which it looks great. It does. I'm excited for it. Um, other than that, I hope you weren't expecting anything else. Because, uh, yeah, there was a lot of, like, really, really cool leaks coming. Now, it was just a mini, and they said it was a partner thing, so my my hopes were not high at all. Uh, but still, they were, like, met with, like, the absolute bare minimum of what I was expecting. That's the thing for, like, Nintendo Directs lately. Well, there haven't been any lately, but still. Um, I put my expectations so low so that I'm excited no matter what we get, even if it's a bad Direct. But that one was, like, verbatim the worst possible, you know, possibility of, like, well, they're gonna show us Shin Megami Tensei 5. We knew that. And then, like, the rest, I was just like, well, I mean, anything else would be bonus. And what it was, the rest was pretty much nothing. Um, a lot of the characters I draw have wings, and one day I drew them without feathers out of curiosity. It's honestly probably one of the most hilarious and creepy things I've ever drawn. I look like weird plucked human chickens. It's easy to forget there's a separate functioning limb under all those feathers. Um, you know, um, whenever I draw wings, I make sure, or, or characters like that in general, I make sure I do the anatomy first. Um, and especially with wings, you know, you need to draw the skeleton first, and then you can go on top of it. Which is, you know, partially why I had to make Zero Suit offline and not stream it with you guys, because you're not mature enough to understand how that works. How you have to actually, like, create the structure of something, and then build on top of it. Many people almost dislikes this video. What does that sentence even mean there, man? Besides, no I'm not really making this for likes, I'm just doing it to hang out with you guys. And if they dislike the fact that I'm hanging out with you, then screw them. We don't need them anyway. Um, this looks like it should just be a regular arch. I'm gonna use that line anyway, even though it goes way too far. Uh, so far, it looks cool. Hey, hello there. How you doing? Hello. Good. How about you? Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> so much stuff going on. Well, it's not like that SpongeBob stream though. I'm not like like uh, hmm, physically tired. I'm just like, oh man, there's so much going on. Like that tired. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was I was thinking like maybe he's just tired from his job or something. But <laughs> yeah, there there is that. Uh, it's retail and it is ground floor stuff and it is dealing with the very stupid public who doesn't seem to understand that we're under a pandemic of which I can't specify or else YouTube will get very upset with me if I use certain words because for some reason they don't like us speaking about that. Yeah. Ah, you mean about the frenzy. <laughs> ah, the frenzy virus going around. Oh, dang it, I said one of the no-no words. <laughs> no, 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 that was different. I was talking about Monster Hunter. That was Monster Hunter. See? You YouTube douchebags. Anyway. Uh. So, yes. <laughs> that thing. That weird, questionable thing. <sighs> Like, there's so many people who just, like, will not wear their mask at all, even though it's mandated in our state. Or like, yeah, it's this... It's this weird thing. People are like, it compromises our freedom. <laughs> right, and I'm like, well, you're compromising my health. Stop. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is... At least in America, it's 100% within the government's rights to do that, too. So, I don't know where they're getting this bad information that, like, the Constitution yeah. says that they can't do this. Like, you don't, you clearly don't know how bad our Constitution is, man. I mean, it, it gives them all sorts of crazy powers. Yeah, and this isn't even, like, a really bad one. This is just about general public safety. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is just public safety. <laughs> There's a lot of really crazy stuff they can do. This is what you're concerned about? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh well. Wear, wear your masks, wash your hands, people. Just be a good. 
So these actually are um, black in uh, the illustrations. However, I'm thinking of um, not coloring them that way. I might actually fill it in with something. So I'm not sure about that. Also, this one doesn't look like Oh boy, oh boy, it's it's a it's a real mess. Yeah. But um, yeah, the that's that's the real, I guess the exhausting part of the job is just dealing with the public right now. Because the thing is, like, no sane person is going out to, and I, I'm I don't want to like specifically say where I work because like that would kind of, like, I don't want people showing up there um, trying to find me, because they probably could, um, but it's not a place that, like, you need to go to during a pandemic at all, and there's so It's not like people... a grocery store? No, it's not a grocery store. That's, that's basically what I was trying to say. It's not a grocery store, but it's still retail. So the thing is, like, it's one of those places where if anyone's going there, they have no reason to be here. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? I'm sure there is better, more exciting, fun stuff to talk about than that right now. Like all the games I gotta get back into playing, like uh, we were, I was trying to say, one of them, of course, is Black Mesa. Um, I That'll also <laughs> want to announce and let you guys know that I will indeed get a chance to play um, that game of the title of which I'm stuttering to remember. Destroy All Humans! Thanks oh, yeah, to THQ. Uh, I'm so glad that <laughs> they were not upset by my Spongebob content, that which was like... <laughs> I was like, no, it's not bad! I'm just so tired! What happened with that? Because, like, I haven't watched it yet. I just have... I've heard, like, random snippets of, like, some like it went bad or something oh really <laughs> or no, no no just like i don't know so, you guys have just been saying like it was a crazy stream or something like that oh it was funny and yeah it was a fun game it's hilarious but like um i was okay you know like in uh black mesa where i'll get really motion sick um for some yeah. reason spongebob was really doing that to me so i had to just take a break at one point is it a 3D or a 2D? I've never played those games, so... I oh, know. I, see, I played the original, and um, I guess that's why I was very familiar with it. Like, I already knew all the jokes. Um, it's a 3D platformer akin to Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, okay. So I guess the motion sickness would make a bit more sense with that. Yeah, like, for example, Spyro the Dragon gets me very motion sick, too. So. That's me. Uh... Gabriel says, imagine a Samus model kit. That would be amazing, and one for Ridley. Yes. Well, here, I mean... I feel like they exist. They don't. <laughs> and I, I would have known. Really? And um, I actually have my Figmas here right now, so if I back up... Well, zero. You can actually see... Like I it's was Japan posing, exclusive I was drawing from these. Like, I kind of posed them the way I wanted them, and then I just kind of drew from that. So that's the zero suit that I worked from. These are Figmas, by the way. And then um, Samus. Of course, they only I had the other M version, which was the first one they made. Then they went out and made a Prime 3 version, which isn't very different. It's better, but it's not very different. Um, so anyway, posed those to work from. That's like as good as you can get. Ridley? No. The only Ridley thing at all is his amiibo. There is no other Ridley anything, I believe. Could be wrong. Physical, official, well, no. There is a ginormous, very expensive, yet very beautiful first four figures of Ridley, and it is gorgeous, and I wish I could have it, but I can't because I'm poor. <laughs> so, anyway, there's that. Now you know that. I just realized the chip yeah. was a little off from that... I'm just looking it up right now. I I found the one you were talking about. The first four figures, Ridley. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's freaking gorgeous, man. It's just like 
really pricey. Like, extremely so. I would assume. You didn't see that? Oh, you're not I looking. Well, at... I didn't see the price. I was. I went into images. Ah, I saw, yeah. like, the... Guess. Uh, I'll give it, like, 200 to 300. Higher. Okay, so if we're going, like, Warhammer level, uh, 500? Higher. <laughs> What's it made out of? <laughs> you know, I... It's huge. It's way bigger than you think it is. Also, I think it oh, glows okay. in the dark. As if that matters. It really doesn't justify the absurd price. But still, higher. Um, 1,370. That's, like, so on the nose, I feel like you looked it up. No, actually, that was just a random ballpark number. I okay. didn't know. You know what? I think you're very, very close. I think it's, like, 1,200-something. <laughs> Is that high enough for you? <laughs> like, the well, only, the, other than the Amiibo, the yeah, only official Ridley... High is that thing, and that's how much it costs. Are there, like, uh, other merchandise in the meantime, like t-shirts and posters and whatnot? Nothing official. This uh. is, like, Nintendo's most neglected franchise. It makes me so sad, because it's my favorite. Phone. We have it, but I don't... Um, we have it, but only my brothers play it. Oh, man. Which one? I think it's the original. Oh, wh what? What? Really? Metroid NES. Yeah, we have an NES. I like the first game, <laughs> but I know a lot of people very much don't. They're very vocal about how much they don't. To be fair, we have it to also we also have like very much worse games to compare it to, so mm -hmm. we see it as good. Put these in the wrong spot here. Well, I mean like if you play a lot of NES games, in comparison, it's actually quite good. Probably. Phone going I, uh, crazy. Uh, the they're the ones this. that mainly play NES games. Around the time that they were getting into the NES was when I finally got a good enough computer to play a lot of the games in my Steam library. Yeah. So. Why an NES of all systems? Uh, they wanted most of the... So, here's the thing. Uh, they did the smart thing, and they went to, like, old uh, antique shops and stuff. They got NES, the SNES, and uh, a few other things. I can't remember all the systems we have now, but they got a lot of the retro ones. And uh, then they refurbished them, just, like, on their own by, like, cleaning them out and, like, unscrewing them and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Why do I keep saying and whatnot? <laughs> Yeah, that's but yeah, so they work. Uh, they work pretty well, even though they were originally pretty bad. Yeah, well, that's that's good to hear. Those things, um, they did not age well in terms of their hardware. There's a lot of outstanding uh, software on them. I think they also have most of like most of the popular games for all of them, along with some not well known ones. Because uh, there's a lot one, of uh, one of the really anti good little known NES games. One of my favorites uh, is yeah. uh, River City Ransom. You played that? Um, I haven't played most of the NES games we own because oh. I'm not. I'm not the hugest fan. I mean, I like the NES, yeah. but I hardly ever play it. It's mainly their thing. I'm just fine with watching. Uh, I probably missed a bunch of comments here. Uh, for being Samus and Nessus, you well, think that he would get more merchandise. Here, hold on. For being one of Nintendo's biggest franchises, you would think Metroid in general will get more merchandise. It doesn't. Um, I really want that 3D engine scanner so bad, but I don't have enough money for that $3,000. Oh, is he talking like a, um, like one of those, uh, 
3D scanners that uh, gives you models uh, that yeah. you can put inside of it. Yeah. Those are pretty neat. Like a 3D printer. Mm. Well, a reverse 3D printer, basically. Another thing yeah. is that is really huge and expensive is the HG Neo Xeon from Gundam Unicorn. Oh, well, yeah. But they have a lot of expensive models. Um, next engine, 3D scanner. Uh, that thing is bigger than a two-year-old child. Very worse. Well, it needs to be in order to... Yeah. Oh, no, no. no the 3D scanner is huge. But, yeah, that... Uh, Kim has a Gundam that's, like... That tall? It's big. It's freaking huge. It's got metal screws in it and everything. Um, very worst games, you mean Pokemon Sword and Shield? What? Have you seen Terminal Montage's video of something about Super Metroid Animated Speedrun? No, I don't I don't watch those. Speaking of Sword and Shield, I don't plan on getting the DLC anytime soon. Y yeah, you really shouldn't bother. You should watch high quality animations for whoever's making those videos is doing an awesome job. They're hilarious. They're not appropriate for all ages, but still very hysterical. They make me giggle. I'm trying to get these correct. Because that should arch. Anyway, I hope I caught up on everything. That was a lot. I was looking up uh, Ridley r merchandise, and I only really found one other thing, which was a mug. It can't be official. Nintendo's never done it. I don't know. It. I doubt it's official. Well, it's still cool, at least. It's official stuff. You want, If you want your... You know your uh, franchises to do well, or you want to like send a message to uh, the developers and say, "Hey, make more of this stuff. I like it." You have to actually buy official stuff. I, I hate it when I have to get like, you know, third-party Redbubble, you know, Etsy knockoff stuff, like because in the end, you're not actually supporting the stuff you like, and that's disappointing. How do I explain this? Um, I am 28 and very busy. I don't have time to watch YouTube. I watch like three or four channels and that's about it. <laughs> I really don't have time. Um, the G-Max Galar starters are stupid. Pretty much all of the Gigantamax is stupid, but you know. Who asked me? Nobody. Uh, Rillabum's... Rillaboom. Yeah, Rillabum. The uh, drum is the only thing that changes. Yeah, well, who cares? If, if honestly, like, that was the determining factor of, of you actually thinking that that was a quality game and it was suddenly worth your money because Rillaboom's G-Max design was worth it, then... I'm sorry that that was the deciding factor for you. As opposed to, I don't know, all of the other legitimate, substantial quality problems that that game suffers from, but... Nobody asked me. Actually, this is a little too large. Should be a little smaller than this. Hey, I don't like Sword and Shield either, so I get it. Yeah, I, I'm more disappointed with the direction that the company is taking. It's not... A lot of, like, the idiot defenders just go like, you're just claiming you don't like the designs of the Pokemon. You gotta shut up, you gotta get over it. It has nothing to do with the designs of the Pokemon. It could have ended up being, like, one of my favorite Pokemon designed generations. It just happened to be very poor, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinions, if we were just gonna, like, very mildly touch on that. But it's mostly how the company itself is showing its true colors as just being in it for the money and not in terms of making any quality content whatsoever. Um, Cinderace's ears bet really long and it gets a fireball. Okay. Uh, I have a shiny Zayarara. 
Most everybody has a shiny Zarya, whatever that thing's called. I don't even know its name anymore. I don't even care. I stopped caring. Same, Christopher. He says, I don't have a shiny Zorora because I didn't want it. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I didn't even want it. There's a point where, like, even my shiny collection was just like, meh. But who cares? <laughs> you know, it's what it, when it really turned down to, like, but I don't really care anymore. If they can't make me even like the franchise anymore, then we got a real problem. I kind of lost interest at Sun and Moon. Like, yeah. I had like when I started playing it, I thought it was like interesting, but then I kind of just it petered out real quick. Yeah, they they kind of ran out of dev time on that one in a pretty substantial way. Like at first I felt bad for the devs, but then I read more about it and I heard about what's actually going on at that company and it's not okay. So whatever you know just if that's how they want to treat their employees and that's what they want to do for just like basically making investors happier than customers i don't agree with that i never agree with that in fact i worked with a company that went out of business because they believed in that they actually lied to some of their investors to try and make them think that they were doing better than they really were and in the end they got like hardcore sued for it and had to lay off a ton of employees so basically the employees had to take the brunt of the uh the ceo and the higher up executives horrible greedy moves because of what the company's doing game freak's doing the same crap and it's awful it's not okay um what's your opinion on ash greninja i don't care it's just a dumb anime tie-in um let me see if I do this like this. I think um, this should actually like divot in a little bit like that. To be fair, I guess my opinions on Pokemon don't actually really matter because I'm one of the I'm one of the people that likes Gen Four. <laughs> <laughs> why? No, here. Why? Why is that not valid? Here, hold on, hold on. Let me back up. Let me well, before no, you even like... say anything. Um, even in Pearl Generation 4, they were slowly doing some of the things that were allowing them to be so problematic and what they're getting away with in Generation 8 now, but their very next Generation 5 might have been their most ambitious Pokemon game they have ever made, and unfortunately was met with a lot of criticism. And because of that, basically told the company, stop trying to appease the fans and give them what they want. They don't seem to know what they want. Just give the investors what they want, which is a quick, easy, churned out, money hashed, you know, just Christmas sale thing. So that doesn't matter. There's, there are a lot of interesting and very good merits to the fourth generation of Pokemon. Do you want me to start naming some? If you don't believe no, 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 the no, fact it's that good. I said I... that? There is quite a lot. No, no, that's fine. Yeah. Like, uh, ooh. How about the, the physical special because... split? Can you imagine Pokemon I... without that? Though, granted, that's nothing really to the generation. The big best things of Gen 4, I think, are, are ironically, uh, changes to the coding, when I think their biggest shortcomings were hardware-based, now that I think about it. It's mostly the DS couldn't keep up with what they were demanding of it. Same thing happened with uh, X and Y, but it wasn't as uh, it was was not as horrible, but still, because the 3DS is just a more powerful engine. Um, the it's a myth. I know what I know what Zariarauralraurala is. It's just some stupid mythical thing they gave out to make a bunch of kids feel like they have something special when they don't. The storyline in Sun and Moon made no sense to me. No, no, it didn't. Uh, Game Freak has well and truly run out of ideas. You know, I don't think that's true. I think that they're not being paid to come up with good ideas anymore. They're just quickly churning out stuff because they know that works. They don't have to work harder than that. And I mean, like, here, think about it like this. If you found out you could do your homework of like some really huge projects 
that you have once a year at school, and you could do the whole thing the night before and get an A. Wouldn't you do that? Would you not? What incentive Question, do you is have? Question, an option? Well, yeah, but what incentive do you have in that point to work for months on this thing and get the same grade? Why would you spend so much extra time doing it? That's what Game Freak's doing. So, sure, you could have made a much more thoughtful essay that, you know, impressed much more people and you could have published it, but instead you waited till the night before and you still got the same grade. So you basically made the same money, is where my analogy is going. And it doesn't matter how much effort you put into it. Why bother? Do you have an answer to that, Rowan? I don't know. I was I going to make a... I was just going to make a joke about saying how I would probably procrastinate still and I would end up trying it in the morning before it would happen and I'd get like a C. <laughs> well, here, even, you know what? To keep our analogy going, I think Game Freak did that with Sun and, uh, not Sun and Moon. Well, actually, yes, Sun and Moon kind of did that too. So the Ultra Games, but mostly with Sword and Shield. I think that's what they did because they were planning on this to be a 3DS title. There's a ton of evidence for this, by the way. I'm not going to get into that. But they were planning on this being a 3DS title. And then suddenly, they're like, oh, hold the phone. The Switch is doing really well. We need to work on this thing instead. And then, of course, by that point, they're like, well, we're really far into working on this next generation of Pokemon. We basically have to port the whole thing and figure out how we're going to get it to function. Which is why some of the latest things they were working on were like the Pokemon themselves, which shouldn't have been a problem, you know? But there's... Oh god, there's so, so much stuff. They just basically wait to the last minute to do their work. But granted, that could have been like a higher-ups thing. And some of my biggest questions about the Pokemon Company are like, how does this really work? Because the company is formed as a joint three-way group equally shared by Creatures, Inc., Game Freak, and Nintendo. That's Pokemon Company. And... Yeah. Who really makes the decisions here? Is it Nintendo? Is it Game Freak? Is it Creatures, Inc.? Who's responsible when we have really badly designed Pokemon or, and they look really lazy? Is that Creatures, Inc.? You know, or... What about when the games come out every single year on a holiday release? Is that Nintendo? You know, like, or is it? Really I never really thought same of executives? that. Because you see, you always see the same people each time they do their showcases. You know, the same presidents of their companies, and I'm like, but who has priority? You can't just have three equal parties. You know, one has to be a CEO, and that's what I don't get with what they're doing. Because like, if it was Nintendo, and why I don't think it's Nintendo, they would be treating Pokemon much more carefully. See what happened with Zelda, Smash Brothers, Mario, any of their really big franchises. Look at the top selling Animal Crossing. Look at their top selling games other than Pokemon. They're taking very good care of them. And uh, they're, they would definitely, definitely not try and compromise making a quality game after like three years of dev time and just make one a year just for the money. They would never do it. That's not a Nintendo thing to do. So, who's doing it? What's going on? I don't know. But it's weird. Um, Switch internet is bad no matter how close I am to the Wi-Fi box. Yeah, that, that's... Gotta tell you, Switch internet has nothing to do with how close you are to your Wi-Fi box. It's not gonna speed it up. Unfortunately. Wish it yeah, would. I've recently discovered, surprisingly, the most reliable handheld console I've ever played. Even compared to every Nintendo thing I've ever tried, including the Switch, mm -hmm. has been the PS Vita. Well, big difference there is player base. And that matters. How many people are fighting over the same servers? If that number is zero, <laughs> then there you go. It's easy. The PS Vita was one of the biggest flops Sony has ever done, and it's kind of why they're not doing handheld anymore. They gave up after the Vita. So, I mean, that's Which kind is of weird a huge because it has... advantage. Also, the servers for the Switch are actually much better than the Vita, 
but the player base is so much bigger that I don't really see comparisons like that, to be fair. Maybe it's just a server thing. Well, I'm also, like, saying, um, one of the, the reasons I also say it's better is because of other factors. Like, it can, in my opinion, it can run some really good games, especially for the time it came out. It can run, uh... Oh, the Vita is a uh, technically yeah. impressive little thing. Yeah. Also, the battery life. Oh, my God. I was able to run that thing for more than half a day without it going below half. Mm-hmm. Which is impressive for any handheld console. It the DS would have already run out of power yeah. three times. It definitely depends on which game you're playing, but yes, it, it uh, had very uh, impressive battery. I was running battery. Freedom Unite. I was just running Freedom Unite. Yeah, I, I think some of their newer ones that were developed for it would run it down a little quicker, but still, yeah, I remember its battery life was very impressive. <clears throat> Um, as good as to pour the ultra wormhole are the best options for shiny honey, including the legendary. Yeah, it, but see, ultra wormholes is what killed it for shiny hunting for me, honestly, because it made it too easy and too boring. Also, I hated that mini game. Uh, again, switch internet is bad, mom. Pawned my switch. Oh, dude, what? I don't know. That's it was sad. my Christmas gift too. What? People want games, not graphics. Yes, that was the big problem with the Vita. It wasn't really anything fun to play on it. Well, also, like, they were straight up competing against Nintendo in a fight they were not going to win. You know, Nintendo has that handheld market, and it's just not a... I don't know. A lot of the games that you want to play on the PSP, or the PlayStation in general, you don't need to really take with you. If that makes sense. A lot of the Nintendo stuff, you know, I could, like, pick up and go with, you know, and I'd, I'd be perfectly fine. You can, like, I don't know. G games are designed differently for the handheld. Though, granted, there's some that are, are definitely not, and I don't know, like, why they're even on the Switch. But most are ports that I have issues with that just, like, go on forever. Alright, so, looks like this next... Acro has a pretty good question. He says, what do you enjoy drawing the most? Is there anything specific that you tend to draw more of? Um, hmm, you know, um, I'm kind of shaking it up, doing something a little different right now, which is like, uh, I guess more of like a mech suit for, for Samus here. Um, I never really do that kind of thing. Um, if I just like sat down and drew whatever I preferred, I'd probably draw some, uh, creatures. Um, probably, uh... Yeah, anything anything Ridley-like. I don't want to like keep saying on Metroid, but I've drawn lots of dragons, lots of um, stuff in that vein. Um, based on how their anatomy works, that's just the kind of thing that I'm into drawing, I guess. But my graphic novel, my new one, rather, the one that I'm uh, still trying to work on, has none of that. It actually could happen in the real world, so... That was like a little bit of like a struggle for me for drawing it. I'm like, ah, there's nothing like super fun to draw in this. It's more of like I just have to get it finished. So, yeah, I guess the real life stuff. I'm like, me. I want to draw fantasy stuff. I want to draw something crazy and weird. But in preference, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield does not only suck with graphics, nearly everything about it is bad. Um. You know, even though I agree with some of the complaints there, uh, it's still not fair to just inherently call it bad. Uh, you're just basically asking for uh, trolls to attack you there. I wouldn't do that. Um, Switch is charging. Yeah, you should have seen, Gabriel, if you've seen Alex's, like, uh, review of like, their Sword and Shield announcements of recent, oh, the comment sections below those. Yeah, like, what's up with people? I mean, I don't even really read them anymore, I just kind of, like, ignore that stuff. The Pokemon fanbase is so toxic. You know, like, if you do anything but praise them and love them for everything they've done, which is basically spit in your face and abuse you, then they're like, how dare you 
you're an awful person, you clearly don't know what you're talking about. And like, one thing that you'll never see in any of their comments is a valid point. You know, they, they just want to whine. So, whatever. It's also pretty hard for me to read comments like this, too. So I'm sorry if I can't get to uh, guys' stuff. I'm looking through it. A lot of it is, like... Uh, I'll, I'll just read down. It's, sort of uh, we got Christopher good. saying... <laughs> no, no, no. It's... Nobody's saying that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Christopher... We got Christopher saying, My Switch is charging for the first time today. Usually I need to charge it two times in a day. Oh, okay. Oh, so, well, you played a lot, I didn't lot, understand then. for a second. Wow! Yeah, wow, you played a lot. If I'm hearing that correct. But, yeah. Uh, then we got Ink Sans saying uh, that he really hates Dynamax Pokemon and says it's a ripoff of Mega Evolution. I don't even think Mega Evolution was very creative, honestly. Well, to be fair, I like fair, that it's it based was... off of the Gen 1 thing. I think it was just an excuse to basically do the Sinnoh Evolutions again, but at the same time, like, keep them from being as permanent, because that did piss off a lot of players. So, I kind of get where they were trying to go with that, but it doesn't make me happy to see it. <laughs> Gabriel says the understandable point of, I like a handful of the designs, which I can understand. I like the Cormoran. But... Oh, of Sword and Shield? Yeah. You know, um... Matt and I recently went through them again, and we were desperately looking for any reason to actually have a team of six that we could tolerate and play the game with. Um, I got to four, I think, like three or four, and Matt got to two. Let's assume the whole game was opened up to us. And I was just looking at ones like, I could give that a shot. There was nothing I was like, obviously like, yes, I like this one. Because it's just it's not the way it happened. Except for um, the alligator snapper, if I could completely bypass his first form. I hate it so much. Like most of the Pokemon do. What? Uh, well, no, I'm not saying that to you. I'm saying I'm looking at a comment right now. Yeah. Um, I... I was gonna say, uh, do either of you pick the Cormorant, the one that fishes up random Pokemon just randomly? No. <laughs> really? No. I like the concept that it just like picks up Magikarp in its beak and just like chucks it around. Eh. Eh. No. No. It's not that ridiculous. It's not really that ridiculous. It's just a Cormorant, like a real life Cormorant. I know. It's, <laughs> it's just dumb. It's just dumb. I think he looks dumb. He's got googly Muppet eyes, just, I don't know. It's Pelipper again, but just not as, it, it doesn't look like nearly as creative as Pelipper either. It's, it's just got no personality either. I, I don't, I just don't like it. Is that fair? Can I just not like it? I just don't like yeah, it. Yeah, of course. I'd spend more time on it's, that. It's fine like... not to like something. But... Right. Uh, well, no, it says, isn't. How dare creature? I not like it? Ac uh, Acro says various creatures are what I end up drawing the uh, most as well. Most of all in my drawings, as you probably noticed on Discord. Right. Although most of my stuff is paleo art. Dinosaurs are awesome. Um, and then Blastina appears. I can't tell if she's or he or she is angry or just sarcastic. sarcastic. Or... I think that's sarcastic. Many people trying to... Because I don't think we're... Um, like, if anything, I'm definitely not a Gen 1-er. I, I hope that my um, videos I've made on the Pokemon as I'm going through the generations very much proves that's not true. Um, so far, I've my got the first four videos up for the first four generations. Um, though last place so far is four. Um, by the way, it will not stay last for that long. Um, I'm pretty sure second to last is actually Kanto. Um, 
then uh, second place is Johto and first is Hoenn. However, I will just say, it may be usurped by um, Anova. I was very shocked to find I really enjoyed a lot of Anova Pokemon, so. We'll see how that one goes. Which I think this goes all the way down. It's so yeah, nice. Alex. This is this is a joke, by the way, but I think you're you're definitely like a Gen Three-er. <laughs> well, it's weird because I think Five might be the best one. I just remember like how much you love uh, Hoenn and all the designs and everything. Yeah, Hoenn's just fun. I really love the look of uh, Hoenn, and, and I, I think he even said in the video when I was going through the Sinnoh designs. Um, I specifically like Bronzor because he looks like a Hoenn Pokemon. He just looks like he hmm. would live alongside uh, Claydol and, you know, um, uh, Absol is just the weird, bizarre, like, capture. You know, he's just a super weird looking. Bronzor thing. just reminds me of a Spectrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I get Which is probably, which nowadays is actually, like, even though the franchise is dead, it's still my favorite creature franchise. <laughs> well, there's a lot of franchises that I thought were dead, yet we're still getting stuff for. Like, uh, the recent Bakugan, that really upset a lot of people. It yeah, was I'm, honestly just, the way that I Nintendo stopped paying announced attention it, to if it. you saw that. Nintendo no, basically I, I... said, like, stay tuned, we're gonna announce a brand new game by Way Forward, and everyone was like, Oh my god, what could that be? And they started listing, of course, everything under the sun that WayForward's ever touched in their entire life. And then, of course, they announced it, and they're like, Bakugan! And everyone just got furious, which was really uncomfortable. Yeah, I was for. gonna say, it kind of died out. Like it, uh, like, it had its run. People enjoyed it for its run, right. but it, let it die. Yeah, let, it, let, it, let it just lie down and die. Let it die. <laughs> Though of random things that WayForward has brought back, um... I actually mentioned River City earlier, but River City Girls. I don't know why they were like, hey, let's bring back River City Ransom. Because, I don't know. And I was like, yes. <laughs> That's one of those games I definitely want to play. Just because River City two, is so fun. If there were two things, like, uh, franchise-wise, I would want them to bring back um, that are dead now. One of them is Spectropes, because I feel like it has a lot more potential. And... Uh, you remember that old card game, Chaotic? Um, not really. Well, it was just a fun card game that had a fun TV show, but it it was in the same like league as Bakugan at the time. But yeah, I, either way, it was cool and it died. That that's basically it. Yeah, everything was kind of trying to hit the same vein. It's kind of like how um, Pokemon and Digimon aimed for the same thing, though. Ironically, Digimon's still alive. Right? It is, and, and I am actually playing through uh, uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory <laughs> in, tor in uh, attempts of making a video. And um, good lord, it is long. And um, recently I got my first Megas, which was kind of exciting. Though I realized I needed uh, to spend way more time getting other megas which was kind of upsetting <laughs> but i mean of course you gotta grind somehow and you gotta like because of course you can like turn stuff backwards and you know keep messing with it it's really complicated but it's, it's actually really fun oh yeah i have a, i have an old digimon game too i get it <laughs> uh, which one is it the ps1 game uh, that everyone well, played? I, no it was just the old ds game the oh, okay. uh world championship yeah, the uh, old, um, God, what was the name of that, uh, Digimon World? I think it was just Digimon World. I don't know, everybody then, played that one. I didn't see anybody play the other. Is it, and then I'm assuming it'll come out with a Digimon World Fireborn? <laughs> why? I, I'm why? making a joke. It's an Iceborne it's... joke, but why? Um... So it was a lame joke, but it was a joke. The, the the funny was not quite there, but he tried. Everybody, let's give him a hand. 
Um, Blastina did say something funny though. She says Pokemon equals Energizer. They're um, they keep going and going and going and going. Yes, but Energizer isn't malicious against children as much, so I don't know about that. <laughs> and Gabriel says. One thing that would be amazing is if Samus killed Ridley, took his head, and made it into a new arm cannon. Ridley's head as an arm cannon. Uh... Ew. Why? Mecha like, Ridley? Like, why? Well... That, that doesn't really seem to fit her do you, character do you either. Do you question what we do in Monster Hunter? <laughs> I understand that, but that doesn't really fit her character at all. But anyway, I, I guess it was just like a... I don't know, I can't even get behind it there. I love Ridley, I love Metroid, but that seems just really wrong. I don't know. That's why I said Mecha Ridley afterwards, because maybe that would make a bit more sense. Isn't he Isn't he just like, that is he a cyborg or a robot? <laughs> Well, what's the difference? Yeah, he's he is a hundred percent just um, cybernetic, and that is not in any way the same biological Ridley that you see later. But even still, um, it would just be weird. Like Samus wants nothing Mecha to Ridley's do head with as a him cannon? at all. <laughs> Mecha Ridley's head is a cannon. I think he was just saying it as like something cool, not as like a serious story thing, like an aesthetic thing that you can do, like a cosmetic, and it's not canon. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, like, or like, it'd be like a fun little thing. Maybe it's a cosmetic. I, I probably wouldn't use it. <laughs> or maybe like how Mega Man takes uh, weapons from all of the people. <laughs> yeah, um... Meh. <laughs> thing is, like, you, uh... I don't know, that still changes so much. I don't like what that does to the lore. I, uh, and there's, it's like about as um, in depth, if not more so, than like what Monster Hunter has, and it's like really subtle about all of it. So it, it really screws up a lot of stuff, you know. Uh, Lucina says, if if the Metroid Four got canceled, what are you gonna do? I'd get my money back because I pre-ordered it. Um, but it won't get canceled. They're not going to develop it for this long and then cancel it. If anything, they have spent so much money on this, and they have actually recently done a lot of very interesting hires. I find it very, very unlikely. It's like if, uh, I don't know, Final Fantasy VII Remake 2 got canceled, which is, like, the most ridiculous thing ever because they're pretty much, like, done with it. You know, they don't have to make much more. They just have to, you know, port over their stuff to Unreal Engine 5. I believe they are switching engines, and that's pretty much it. You just got to model new environments, get the voice cast back, voice the second game, and, you know, motion cap it, and boom. There you go. Yeah, there's really not much that uh, concerns me with uh, certain games actually vanishing. They're, they're not. They're fine. This arm cannon is going to be a pain in the butt. It is so detailed. Whew. Keep looking at this thing like, oh my goodness. There's so much stuff on it. Are you making a... Oh yeah, I was going to I was gonna ask now that I have the chance. Are you making a Bioshock playing with myself eventually? Eventually, yeah. Um, I did open up to you guys on... Um, well, of course, the Playing With Myself channel, so that you guys can get, like, the first votes on uh, what I would do. And um, then, basically, I took that and brought it over to Twitter just to see what the regular populace would think from those three options that we came up with. And uh, Uncharted happened to win for this week. Um, you know, of all my episodes, I probably had to spend the most amount of time writing that one. I wrote, like, half the script, and I wasn't happy with it. And I completely started over, which took a ton of time, but um, I am at least happier with it now. Um, the other options for the other videos were the original Witcher and um, the original Bioshock. 
Um, so yeah, I, I want to do those as um, videos. I'm just, you know, not sure what's going to happen next week. Um, also, uh, I'm going to figure out like when we're going to do the uh, next Pokemon Opinions. You know, the sub-series of playing with myself that's still playing with myself, but, you know, it's sort of not... So well, listen, actually isn't. It's the, on one of it's them the playing with me. myself of the Pokemon. <laughs> right. Uh, Blasina says, remember Mega Man Legends 3? I didn't play it. I'm not a big Mega Man fan. And Gabriel says, here's a better comparison. Pokemon equals Disney. Disney's just a whole different kind of malicious, you know? And even still, Disney still puts out stuff that people really like. Well, I guess that's what Pokemon's doing, but... It's not like Disney gets hit with that much hate at all. Disney, like, never gets hate. If anyone hates on Disney, they're really quiet about it. <laughs> I think, um, lately it's been pretty loud, especially with all the Star Wars stuff. Well, the Star but... Wars stuff, yes. Um, I've actually heard they're, they're trying to buy the rights away from them. Uh, I don't know how that's going Well, I know George Lucas... Well, what George I heard Lucas was that George is, Lucas yes. is actually on the team now. Like, he's on the team now, and he's, like, actually going to retcon, like, the past three movies or something. I hope. They... Yeah. Whew. I didn't Which really is care. interesting. You know, cause like, it's funny, like, he's like, I'm done with Star Wars, and then they do this, and he's like, no, no, let me in, I'm reworking this. <laughs> nope. Like, that was bad. Yeah. I don't know why I find it so funny. It's just, uh, it's a mess. It's a just, it's just a complete and utter mess. Oh man, there's so many different uh, circles that need to like go within circles. It's, and they're all on these angles. Let's see when I screw them up. <laughs> Apparently, Lestine was bringing up other things that people have been like upset at recently or something. Uh, yeah. Marvel. Actually, yeah, I heard the stuff about Marvel, too. Uh, the Simpsons. I guess that would make sense. I haven't heard anything, but I can understand why people would be upset with them. I haven't heard about that, either. Uh, Pixar, <laughs> apparently. What's wrong with Pixar? Pixar is like the golden child. <laughs> and the, then the last one is... And dot 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 Kingdom Hearts question mark. They're just rights owners for Kingdom Hearts. Same deal for like, you know, Simpsons, Marvel, and uh, I'm not going to say Star Wars. Just because like they own it doesn't mean that like I find them completely responsible for absolutely everything that goes with it. It's Square Enix that ruined Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Christopher says, just got Wonder traded a shiny Azumarill for a Breject Corpish. What? Azumarill for a, I assume, Reject Corpish. Oh, it, Breed, it says, Breed Reject, right. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know why people keep getting excited and impressed when they Wonder trade hacked shinies. So, like, what you want me to tell you? Like, do people, like, actually want to have somebody else say, like, Whoa, I'm so jealous! You got a hacked Pokemon! Wait, hold on. What would they say? No one wonder trades legitimate shinies. They just don't. Unless it's, like, a joke and they live-streamed it or something like that. Or they hated it that much and then they live-streamed it and they made a video about it. Nobody, like... Now, there's so many fakes. Is there is there a shiny Pokemon you hate enough that you would have wonder traded it? Hmm. Like when I found it? You mean? Yeah, one that you found. One that you found. Um hmm. No, because there's always people that were on the stream or whatever that would have liked it, and I always just gave it to them. I do give a lot of them away. I want to make sure I give it to somebody who is going to want it. it. It never makes sense just give it to somebody completely randomly. 
I don't get that. So, uh, yeah. Also, Ga Gabriel from earlier, like in uh, he's he looped back to the Disney thing. He said sequels, live action remakes, and worst of all, Disney princess movies. Okay, we need to uh, talk about how bad Pokemon Company is and how not bad Disney is in comparison, if that's what you're gonna say. <laughs> I think he was mainly just pointing out, like, I think it was more lighthearted than an actual, like, full-on, yeah. in-depth comparison. Right. But Oh boy, this, this arm cannon man's gonna take me forever. I gotta try and simplify this. Well, I think I got past the worst of it. It's really hard to envision this angle in my head because this is absolutely not the same angle at all that I am working from in the corner. Um, I breed the hacked ones. You know, my friend Casey, you need them for Pokemon Den, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I got what you said. Oh boy. All right. Um, you know, what's the back of this thing even look like? Uh, the part he says, healthy. uh, ahem, Pokemon Dash, ahem. Ahem, Pokemon Dash, ahem. Why? Just the weird DS game where you just flick your stylus a million times. Did I hear the party a may now begin. Squad fam? Uh, oh, squad's here. Squad! Yeah. Zipperman! Zipperman! I haven't, I haven't heard from you in forever, man. <laughs> and now you haven't heard from him at all, and he probably won't speak again? No! Never, never again. That was I the will last never... time. I, I just got home literally a minute ago. One minute ago. <laughs> yes, jump I did on. a pants wearing speed run so I can jump on stream. <laughs> you had a pants wearing speed run? Yes, because when I go out, I don't wear pants. It's kind of a custom at this point. <laughs> okay. You know, what we do here is we don't wear masks. Ah. That's why we're all dying. <laughs> it's It's bad. That's not good. No. <laughs> Do you die when you stop wearing your pants? Uh, basically, pants uh, restrict my power. <laughs> I am not able to consume souls when I wear pants. I ate sushi. I like sushi. I heard what you said. <laughs> Indeed. A smart Alex? A smart Alex, one might say. Uh, uh, uh. Heard that. A smart time. man once said, Sushi is like eating cooked fish, but it's not cooked. <laughs> A smart man, eh? Yeah, he's very smart. But, squad, I, I, get, uh, I get sushi with cooked salmon in it. This is a lie. No, 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 I do at the, lo at the local restaurant. This is a lie. I asked for it personally. Yes, may I have raw fish, but it is cooked, please? <laughs> no, no, I just ask. I just asked for, like, um. What's the roll called? It, it's, like, called a romance roll or something. Basically, it's, like, ah. cooked salmon and sweet potato, um. and avocado. <laughs> uh, avocado is the fruit yeah. of the gods. I'm trying to see where I'm supposed to even draw these lines. I'm so confused because I'm flipping it in that's, my head. I have to admit, that's a nice circle, though. <laughs> you you want to see another circle? Yeah, sure. Squad. Yeah, uh, Gabriel says, Hey, other... I mean, squad... Fa oh, who am I fool fooling? Hey, other guy. Listen, man. I mean, this joke has been going on way too long. I think Alex is starting to get his feelings hurt at this point. <laughs> Poor Alex. It's okay, Alex. I know your name. <laughs> Hello, everyone. That's a nice circle. That was a nice circle, wasn't it? Yeah. It looks like it domes out.
Oh, the you crazy. made a little smiley face. Oh, it, it's more of a wow face. Yeah, well, it's just catching up now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I figured. I, all of whatever I did a while back is gonna catch up on stream. Oh, now there's a little tongue. Oh, it's gone now! No! All my hopes and dreams are gone. That's what I do with hopes and dreams. I but that was the greatest them. work of art I you had ever seen. Control Alt Z them. Hmm. Hmm. I'm so. If I could just rotate this. There we go. I can. What I'm looking at, I just decided to rotate it so I can see it. I have my own guide. Oh, but now it's all... Wait, is it backwards? Oh god, did I just make it backwards? No, but... No, that's right. Okay, you idiot! Right. I was looking at everything wrong. Good thing I did that. <laughs> you idiot! I am a complete... Nincompoop! <laughs> Don't shout at me! <laughs> You're clearly very tired. Yes. Well, what I. What time is it there? Uh, it's like uh, half past midnight. Oh, okay. Like, oh, but okay. I down. I down a bottle of. Butt nah, loaf? I down a bottle of Red Bull. Butt loaf? A butt loaf. A bottle you're, of. You're munching on butt loaf. I didn't know Red Bull came in. I didn't know Red Bull came in bottles. I didn't know uh, Red Bull I mean, came in butt loaf. Yes, I had a butt loaf of Red Bull. Mmm, <laughs> that's my f <laughs> that's my favorite measurement tool. Yeah. <laughs> Americans will use anything except the metric system. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like butt loaf. <laughs> it tastes like butt loaf. <laughs> Add one butt loaf and stir. Until creamy. <laughs> Until creamy. <laughs> and golden brown. <laughs> <laughs> Leave to ferment. Uh, yeah, um, maybe not. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta I'm putting. Gotta a, I'm putting that. To... I'm putting something from that on the quotes page. <laughs> hey squad, I still gotta figure out um, what to uh, play for the next game. I was just telling them earlier. I just got um, the ability to do uh, destroy all humans, which if oh. I wanted, I could actually play before the game comes out and make a <sighs> review video. But I you would. Could. That would be snazzy. I would rather um, just play the darn thing on launch <laughs> and uh, just uh, make a stream because it sounds a lot easier and that's the kind of game mm. you want to screw around in and don't Kill matter. cows. Kill cows? Yeah, not people. No. Just cows. cows. Make burgers. Kill a buttloaf of cows. Butt loaf of cows. Uh, hey Alex, not sure if you remember me, but I used to go by Phantom Pokemon. Just wanted to say good luck with the digital art, and I'm sorry that the Kickstarter wasn't able to hit its goal. Uh, it's alright, uh, yeah, Phantom. Like I said, I just made a video on that, kind of covering how you guys can still get stuff about it. I am trying to get all of that stuff to publish to online uh, platforms like Kindle. So hopefully that's a thing, and I'll have more updates on that soon. Jeez, Maybe button. you'll get a buttloaf of comments. Buttloaf <laughs> of comments. Oh yeah, who was that mod from earlier? Uh, Stupid Greninja must die or something uh, like that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who. The, uh, like, who are they on Discord? Stupid I don't Greninja think they must on... die. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I've just never seen them before, so I was curious it, if it was just like somebody who would change their name. No, it's ju it's a very long time uh, viewer. Yeah, I remember him back in my day. Back in my day. Back in my day. Back in my day. Christopher says, "Geez, squad gets weird when he's sleepy," and Gabriel says, "Go home, you're tired." I get even weirder when I'm not sleepy. Wink, wink. 
this area that I cannot see at all. This corner is not shown at any point. I don't think Gabriel knows what self-promotion is. <laughs> <laughs> self-promotion. I'm better than everyone else. I hey, give myself a raise. Then Thomas would... If that's the case, then Thomas breaks it, like, every day. <laughs> uh, oh. Why were you like the guy from the Spongebob intro? Oh. oh. <laughs> Are you ready, uh. kids? Hi, <laughs> Captain! He tried. <laughs> And that's, that that's, makes that's me want to that. slap my caps. <laughs> that's a cap slapper. That's a cap slapper. Okay. Um, I gotta get going. Be back, guys. Uh, uh, good that squad's here, because he can take over for me for a while. <laughs> yes. Right. You are now stuck alone with me. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. I just realized in the light um, how weird my face looks. I just shaved and I didn't get a chance to stop and look at it. And I, I did something different this time and it looks really weird. That's what I say every time I look in the mirror. <laughs> nah, you look fine. I look so funny. No homo. No homo. No homo. But no, man. You look nice. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Metal Gear. Metal Colonel. Look at Colonel. Me. I'm trying to stick Fuzzy around. Face. But I'm tummy thick. I'm so tummy thick. Yeah. Nah. I was drinking water that was about to spit it on my monitor. Take that monitor. Yeah. Metal Gear. You're kind of doing it like old man. You gotta be all Metal raspy. Metal Gear. <laughs> I, I think I got it. Iris to do it once. <laughs> oh no. It was enjoyable. I need to watch every live stream until I find that snippet. When was, um... You know, I think it was Colonel Sanders, just to give you a hand. I think it was the Colonel Sanders one. Uh... Ooh, uh, <sighs> drawing time. Hiro Yuko Senpai, welcome to the stream. I'm joined by... Squad fam. <laughs> That's me. That's I'm wearing him. pants. Squad fam. Wearing pants. Wearing pants. Coming this Thursday. <laughs> to a they should make an entire movie about someone trying to wear pants. <laughs> trying to wear pants? <laughs> but he keeps failing. <laughs> Sounds like a Mr. Bean sketch. <laughs> Is this, oh god, did I just date myself too much again? <laughs> do you know what Mr. Bean is? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, like... Oh, right, because they made movies for kids. Oh, I watched the old TV show. Yeah, me too. Okay, yeah! See, like, the one Monty where he Python falls out TV of the show? sky, right? What? Yeah, the one yeah. where the... in the intro... He's like... <laughs> yeah, it's just so weird. <laughs> I I love Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean's so strange. That's some <laughs> some good stuff. Yeah, I like Mr. Bean. Rowan Atkinson is my hero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but this is overly serious, and every fifteen seconds there's the Inception sound effect. What's the, the Inception pants. sound effect? Duh. Wait, let me find it on my phone. You'll, you'll recognize it instantly, you just don't know it by sound. Okay. I'll have to wait a bit. To, let me know when you find it. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to... Bring this out. The, like... This one, this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It's plays like every 15 seconds <laughs> right where well, every time uh christopher nolan's like whoa that was wait is that christopher Duh. god who, who wrote that who was that christopher i nolan? have no idea no god. i have no idea i don't i don't freaking remember no what yeah christopher nolan yeah it was okay i am not a movie buff but i got something right for a change look i i never at... watched even watched you haven't even seen it 
No. It is actually a good film. I do enjoy it. That's the first time I've heard an American say film. Why? Ever. They all say movie. Movie sounds so... Childish. Yes. In my head, this just sounds childish. Film sounds so much more exquisite and fancy. Feature film. Oh. The feature film. Feature featuring. film. Look at how high I can raise my nose and eyebrows oh. simultaneously. Oh. Film. Oh. I'm British. Oh. Oh, 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 cheese and crumpets. Crumpets. I love Wallace and Gromit. I remember once when we were in Germany. I, uh, we went to Germany with like a class of... Our, our German class, basically. And there were like two British people on the train. And they were talking to a friend of mine about a football game. Our football, not yeah. your American football. Ours is <laughs> and like... I just jumped in and in front of everyone on the train I just said, God save the Queen! <laughs> and, and everyone on the train just started laughing. And I heard one of the British girls say, Is he British, though? Then before we left on the train, I said, Cheerio! <laughs> it, the, their look of confusion was so worthy embarrassment. And that's the only time anyone has ever loved me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, such were the days. That's the only warmth I have ever received in my life. <laughs> it's funny because it's true! I can't imagine Kim coming home right now and just hearing you <laughs> fake cry. Where? <laughs> 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 Why isn't there a cheese counter in Starbucks? <laughs> Why doesn't my calculator go up to cheese? <laughs> <laughs> what else am I supposed to eat during the physics exam? <laughs> There's only seven cheese here! I want nine cheese! There is only seven cheese, but where is the ham? I have no ham! If this is what you were expecting when you clicked on this video, guys... I'm impressed. You've been here a while. You know to expect complete stupid talk. A whole buttloaf of stupid talk. Can we please make that a word now? Buttloaf. Thirteen buttloafs. Thirteen but well, that's a lot of buttloaf. Yeah, that's like a buttloaf of buttloafs. I know. Oh, is wow. that is that like an acceptable amount of buttloaf? Cause that's I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought that it might be a little much. Yeah. I mean, if they're getting their butt loaf due, I don't want to, like, you know, give them too much butt loaf. What might happen if you get too much butt loaf? Um, there was a TV show for Mr. Bean. Ah, oh, that's how you can identify an American like myself. Except I watched the show. Actually, uh, Kim made me watch, like, all of it. Same, we actually own all of the... Uh, Monty Python TV show too. That's a that's a great one. This gun arm is so weird and gets weirder. Um, you know what? It'd be easier if I did a fat line and just erased my way through this because it has too many ridges right here. Squad. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Hi. <laughs> I zoned up because I was reading something. Sorry. <laughs> I was just yelling at you. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm, I'm so scared. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah, Blasina, you can you can add stuff to the um. There's a whole uh art um channel in Discord. Go ahead and add stuff to it. If you dare. If you dare. Prepare for criticism. 
and lots of it. Yes, we're we're we're, we're really not that bad. <laughs> Unless it's fairy fan fiction. Fairy fan fiction. Yes. In fairies. which case, we will love it. <laughs> yes. The fairies. Fairy god fiction. Fairy god fiction. Has anything ever happened with that since, like, the 90s, that show? I have no idea. I heard they ruined it. Yeah. They had it way, as soon as they got um, Drake Bell to do a live-action movie. I, oh, God. What have you done? You know, Everyone! I was at... I was at that age where I actually liked it. <laughs> I was 10 years older than you, so imagine, you know, a 10 years older than you, um, version of you seeing that film at that point, going, Oh god, this show isn't I, funny anymore. I liked it, I'm not going to watch it again because I will not ruin my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I don't want to ruin your childhood for you. I used to watch Drake and Josh a lot too, so... You know, uh, if you were... An old fart like me, you would know, um, the Amanda show was better before Amanda Bynes turned into a crack whore. Ah. She's at that age, huh? Yes. Oh, she's, Hollywood. She's living the Lindsay Lohan life. Yikes. Also, before the Amanda show was all that. So, and I'm pretty sure all that was a spinoff. So, it was basically like, Drake and Josh, hold on, yeah, Drake and Josh is a spin-off of a spin-off of a spin-off, and then it had another, I think, two spin-offs of it underneath it. I'm pretty sure there's a spin-off of Jake and Josh, uh, Drake and Josh coming up soon too. Wait, like going back up the run? Because iCarly was a spin-off of Drake and Josh. You tell me they're making another spin-off of whatever the heck is like the first or next thing? Yeah. Oh god. Wow. I I uh, Drake Bell and Drake Bell and Josh Beck are doing a reunion or something. Whatever. They said this time it will be more adult oriented. I don't care. That's what they said for the Muppets and that really was a huge turnoff for people. I never watched that, actually. I think I saw, like, the pilot episode, and that was about it. The new Muppets that was supposed to be for adults. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I just saw a post on Facebook. Uh, you know, like, here in Malta, a while ago, there was, like, a huge pool party. And uh, at this pool party, there was someone who tested positive for COVID, and now everyone's panicking because we're afraid of a second wave coming. And someone on Facebook typed, in all fairness, if you just shared a pool with 500 other people, COVID sounds like a better deal than a urinary tract infection. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh man, you, your humor just is so weird in context to what it's like living here. <laughs> like, you have no idea what you're talking about, of how much yeah. worse it could be. I like how it's always something with America this year. By the way, um, I'm not supposed to say the C word. Oh, okay, yeah. so. Mm, I might get in trouble. I'll, I'll, I'll just say uh, the no no flu. Yes, the. the don't even. No, uh, you can't say that word either. Uh, you can't say the V word. Um, we have to say it. It. We're listening to Samus Returns music, by the way, someone asked. Or the no no bad stuff. Or the no-no-bad feel. The no-no-bad feel? The no-no-bad feel. Anyway, I actually recently was looking at a more up-to-date map of America's uh, reaction to the no-no-bad feel. And, um, <laughs> oh boy. It's, uh... 
It's serious. It's not good. Especially where I, I am. See. I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio, which if you don't know where that is, guys, um, do I even need to direct people to where Ohio is? Squad, do you, would you know? Uh, if I saw a map of America, I'd know, but... Okay. Um, if you know where the Great Lakes are, that's basically the shape of Michigan. The under directly underneath that's Ohio so um, okay. in the very bottom left of Ohio is Cincinnati I am that particular county and we are in the red big time it is not good yeah that's worrisome stay safe well I work in retail and there's a lot a lot of freaking stupid people who will not stay home? Yeah, I can't understand why you don't. Why there's so many people who don't want to wear masks? Over here, yeah, they're actually Ron and I were just talking about it earlier. There's so many people who are just like, you can't take away our freedoms, even though we actually don't have the freedom to endanger other people. So I don't know where they're getting that idea at all. <sighs> also. Our government does have the right to do everything that they're doing. A lot of people just don't understand what they can do and what they can't do until all of a sudden they start doing it. You know, I'm expecting for one day a movement that supports something so stupid to, have to happen that they just... half of the human race goes extinct. <laughs> you know, um... To be fair, if there really is some sort of conspiracy behind where this virus came from, that would be that thing. You yeah. know, there's a lot know. of talk of like this being an engineered thing, and people are trying to disprove it. I hope they disprove it because that would be awful if that's true. But there's there's way too many weird situation like coincidences and stuff like that. Like the virus is spreading way too fast. It's oh, you said the V word. Way too fast. And it's not just because airplanes, which is what I said at first. Like, yeah, well, of course it's spreading really fast because of airplanes, but it's actually, like, becoming a crazy contagion way faster than normal because airplanes. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just... Ugh. Conspiracies don't really appeal to me. What? No. It, here's the thing. Only give them credence if there is just a list of facts that are concerning. But here, we are getting no information out of China, even though millions of people, millions of people around the world have contracted this thing that they are now at fault for. And China won't say a word. That's a little concerning. Um, the fact that, like I said, this thing's spreading crazy. A lot of other technical things like that it does too. Like uh, some experts have said, this thing, the the, the thing, the no no thing, mm -hmm. has managed to evolve so quickly in such a short amount of time that it would only take a natural virus like 800 years in order to do it, and it did it in a span of like three months. So uh -huh. there's, there's a lot of very fishy stuff. Also, it came from a basically a very uh, lax CDC-like plant in China that was funded by many countries, one of which being America, because it's cheap. Chinese labor is cheap. Hey, yeah, who'd have, I have funk it? I really have no idea what to think. I haven't shut up on conspiracies or anything. Well, yeah. The thing is, like, I hate the thought of, you know, something like that being true would be awful because well here here um i'm not saying something is ridiculous like an umbrella corporation actually making a no no thing and releasing the no no thing in efforts of i don't know just doing damage because there's you, there's nothing to gain so that's not what i'm saying and that's not what people are saying either what people are saying is that um this was being worked on in a lab and it may or may not have been specifically for some sort of bioterrorism. I find that to be ridiculously too far. 
but what is more likely is what like a CDC does is they actually do hold lots of very dangerous no-no things and make sure that we can study them so if they ever got out we would be prepared and we would know what to do. This was being held at one of them in China. We know that and it's very very close to where it got out. So it's just stuff like that. Like how come that's uh. true? But yeah. Oh well. Hey, I'd rather talk about fun stuff. Let me see. So let me look at my look at my look at my work schedule. I think um what am I doing in the upcoming day? So it's off today. I wanted to make sure I got in stream this. I did two videos today. I did um the, it should have already gone up, the the Kickstarter thing. Uh -huh, um, yeah, I saw it. I spent so much time working on uh, trying to get my video, or my, not my video, my, my books on Kindle, and oh my god, it is so, it takes so much time, and all the time I spent, it's still, I still didn't get any of them up there, um, so that's gonna be a lot of work, so I ended up making a video uh, that I've been meaning to do all year, which was for uh, the Q-Charm games, that's supposed to post tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, Kim and I are both off, and it's actually, um, we're supposed to go somewhere for our anniversary, which was actually Wednesday, 22nd. Um, Aww. I, wor no, she worked, so we couldn't do anything. And then, um, uh, how, how many years has it been since you and her got married? Three. Wow. It feels like yesterday. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, I still remember you posting something on Twitter along the lines of no YouTube in the coming two days, I'm gonna spend the time with my wife or something. <laughs> and at that point, I was just looking at my phone like, you go, girl! <laughs> uh, I, I'm trying to peek ahead, too. So, Sunday, we both work, um, and it's exactly during the time when I would do any video stuff, so Sunday's a no-no. Um, Monday, it would be the next day I could do something, but, um, oh, you know what, that would be fine, actually. Monday would be a good day, because I'm, I'm trying to plan ahead of when I need to do my Playing With Myself videos, um, mm -hmm. because, um, it takes, like, two days, like, almost whole days for me to get those done, and especially this Uncharted one it took a lot of time. I, I think I said in this stream, um, I wrote about half of it, didn't like it, and completely started over uh, from scratch because I just didn't like it. it just I don't know, wasn't that funny? Just had to start over, and um, uh -huh. hopefully it doesn't happen again. That was the first time it happened. Um, so I, it looks like on oh shoot, no, I got somebody coming on Wednesday. Uh, I could probably pull it off on Thursday, but anyway, yeah. So I think Monday would be our stream next time. I got to figure out what we're gonna do. Mm. I can't wait for you to start playing this one, right? <laughs> yeah, it's another one I gotta get to uh, eventually. I have got it. I think I have that installed right now. Let me look, let me look at the huge amount of things that are installed on my computer you know, right now. I'm just gonna go through a list. I'm, you wanna hear I'm just worried at the moment that I, I've just overhyped it so much that you're eventually just gonna play it and be like, eh. Oh no, it, it's okay. I don't go into stuff, you know, with... I, I try and drain myself of of hype before I get into it. Have reasonable expectations, especially for something when it's older like that, too. Mm -hmm. Um, so, going through order, we just said Dishonored. Um, I have Black Mesa, of course, we're playing that. Um, I have No Man's Sky, which we are supposed to be doing, however, I've heard that has a lot of issues with, uh, recording it, so I haven't gotten to that yet. Blasphemous! Ooh, uh, how, hmm? how are you gonna play No Man's Sky? What do you mean, how am I gonna play it? I'm just Wait, reading uh, PC um... Steam games right now. I'm looking at my desktop. I know you're looking at Photoshop, but I'm looking at my desktop. And I'm going into order uh, everything Because installed. I have No Man's Sky, and it can be played multiplayer if you want. Yes, I know. Um, but I need to make sure I can record it. If I can't record it, then we're in trouble. Um, so anyway, uh, are you planning uh, on playing it multiplayer eventually? Well, yeah. Yes! Um, so anyway, next is Blasphemous, which I'm really excited to play. It's kind of Hollow Knight-y, except mixed with even more Dark Souls, so... Very much yes. 
Um, I would like to see you play Dark Souls eventually as well. The thing is, it never goes on sale. That's the thing that I would have to have someone's help with getting, because it just never goes on sale. It's so expensive. Um, Shovel Knight, we have to finish. I have to beat that game. I'm so bad at that. It was, honestly, as soon as I get a better controller, I will bounce right on Shovel Knight, like a pogo shovel. Um, Ori in the Blind Forest, I have to finish. Um, yeah. and I'll, I'll, Honestly, I'll, if you... Yeah. If, uh, since you're not doing episodes anymore, if you really, like, uh, focus or something, I think you can get Ori down in, like, one or two streams. I think I can do it in one, yeah. We'll, we'll see. I don't know how long it actually is, but as long as we don't get lost again, that's what killed it. Um, yeah, but uh, you said I could join the channel since I bought it for you, right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And that goes yeah, for I would you be. guys too. If you actually get the game for me and I end up playing it, like make sure it's you get a game that I say that I will play on the channel first before you just get me something and you know expect I'm gonna stream and you're gonna join me. But you know, obviously, like talk to me about it first, see what kind of games we're into, and then yes, you can join me for the live streams even though you're not a Patreon because it's like a donation for the channel. Um, I have God Eater Resurrection, which I'm actually like the Digimon game I told you. I am playing that one by myself offline. In order but didn't to you make finish? a video, what? Didn't you finish God Eater One? No, it's freaking long. It's got, I think when I was playing it with you offline, it hit end credits, but you get end credits three different times. Think like Monster Hunter. Oh. There's multiple difficulty tiers that you get to. Um. So anyway, I got to the first one with you. I am very close to the third one, and I'm trying to finish that before I finally make a video, and then I'll dig into it because I want to like showcase a bunch of stuff with this series. I also have God Eater 2 Rage Burst. Um, that one I'll also make a video on. And I have on Nintendo Switch, by the way, God Eater 3, which I will be streaming with you guys and playing. So I'm waiting to show off a ton of God Eater stuff because that is very Monster Hunter-ish. And um, I, in, a, in some ways, it is just better than Monster Hunter. In some ways, it is not better than Monster Hunter. So um, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. Um, I'm gonna try and get through this one and get back to Photoshop Squad, so give me a quick sec. Uh, we have Typo Man, I have to play with you guys. The Stanley Parable, I will probably have Kim with me for that one. Um, I have a few things that are story-based, because you guys were recommending this. Uh, Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc, uh, Stein's Gate, To the Moon, and Finding Paradise, which are both in the same story vein. And right now I have bragging, destroy all humans, which I, I'm gonna wait, obviously, I have an embargo, uh, to wait until that thing launches. And we're gonna stream destroy all humans, I believe that comes out on the 27th, actually? Oh shoot, does it really? Cause that'd be perfect, that's Monday. Cause that's my next day I can stream. I wanna see, can, can someone look that up? When does destroy all humans launch on Steam? Anyway, aside from that, I believe uh, I've got a few. July 28th. July 28th? That's the next day! Mm -hmm. Dang it. Um, maybe what I should do instead, then, is um, try and make my Playing With Myself video on Monday. And um, stream with you guys on Thursday. Yeah, it's be the weirdest Thursday. I finally get that done. I can do, th I can do that day. I, I work the other days. I just can't do it. Mm. Yeah, that's a that's a pile of butts. That's a butt loaf. Butt loaf. I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about Ghost of Tsushima recently. Yeah, well, at the same time, it's a meh. Game like here, like the uh, gamers that are into history hate it. The ones that just want a fun Breath of the Wild but better stealth actiony gameplay game love it. So it, it really depends on what you're into, or if it's a mix of those things, you'll be very mad out, which is how I feel. I'm kind of mad. I ap I appreciate good games which are loyal to history, but at the same time, I don't mind it that much if it isn't. Yeah, clearly, like, they're taking some artistic license a little bit there yeah. and uh, changing up um, what samurais are like um, in favor of trying to make varied optional gameplay. But, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not something that 
I particularly appreciate because I know how extreme um, the samurai code is and how they would never do that. Um, so yeah. it's odd. <coughs> like if they yeah, gave just... you the option, I don't know. I don't know. It would completely destroy the game. See, this is the thing. Like any ways to fix, like you know, the the historical stuff, you compromise gameplay, and I get that. That's a problem. So. In the yeah. end, that's just not one of the games that I was really looking forward to this year, honestly. Um, I am much more interested in the rumored new 2D Metroid game for the Switch. Mm. Uh, the same people who were rumoring that a new Paper Mario game was coming this year um, are the same people who were saying, hey, you better keep an eye out for you know new Metroid, which I'm like, yes! You better be telling me the truth else I will eat you. Uh, I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to the Avengers game. I know you probably don't like it, but I do. Mm. Uh, I'm also looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077, but that's not something I gotta play on launch. I'm, I mean, unless they gave me a review copy to play. Um, which would be super nice of CD Projekt. I mean, if anything, like, I have showered them with affection on this channel. I have given them a full Let's Play of Witcher 3. I Man, I need to I need to start Ooh. playing Witcher 3 again. Dude, the game's so good. Yeah, it's just with the Witcher 3, it's always the same formula. I play until a certain point and stop, and then the next time I play it, mm -hmm. I just get a bit further in the game than the last time, and I stop. Why are you not just continuing? I have no idea. Eventually, I just lose interest and move on to something else. No, I mean, like, why don't you just continue that file? Oh, because uh, until that point, I'd have forgotten everything and would need a refresher course, so I just started again. Oh, like how it plays? Huh. How it plays on the story and everything. The story is really don't... not something you need to worry about. It's It's more of like the way Witcher works is it's stuff you run into and explore on your way. It's it's a bunch of... Witcher is a compilation of a million little stories. That's why the novels are predominantly small short stories in the beginnings, and then they start telling a larger tale, which is a bunch of small stories that all tie together. Uh, I see. So uh, don't worry about that at all with Witcher. Am I missing anything in the comments there? I, I have been very uh, distracted over here. Uh, Christopher found a hair in his snack bowl. I find a hair in everything I eat. Yeah, I used to have that problem when, back when I had long hair two weeks ago. It's not my hair. It's never my hair. That's the oh. gross part, yeah. I used to have hair that's about as long as yours. I think even longer. You think my hair is long? Yeah. Oh, man. You My have stand. not seen me with long hair, then. I, I have seen you with long hair, and, and that's just a very long hair in my dictionary. Yeah, I don't know uh, how far back in my videos you went, but um, I bet some of the Ocarina Hero ones have some crazy long hair. I don't think I ever watched Ocarina Hero videos. I think the furthest back I went is when I started watching you back in the 4 Ultimate. No! The furthest back I went is the original Q Charm series. Yeah, that's not that long. Yeah, but for me it's pretty long hair. I'm talking hair that I could grab like this. I know you can't see. When it catches up, you'll see what I'm talking about. That's how I knew when I had to get a haircut. When I could grab it from behind. Uh, I think I know what you mean. Let me just wait until the stream catches up. Yeah. I've just never been of much... I, I like long hair, but at the same time, I don't like maintaining long hair. If that makes sense. Yes, it's irritating. Also takes a lot of shampoo. Oh, yeah, I, I saw your stream. That's pretty long. It is pretty long. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, because of the quarantine, I just had to 
quarantine? not cut my What's hair. a quarantine? Oh, uh, because of the no-no stay at home. Yeah, the no-no time? Okay. Yeah, the no-no time. Mandatory timeout? The ma yes, because of the no-no timeout. No-no timeout? Uh, I had to stay indoors and not cut my hair, obviously, and... We all did. <laughs> yeah, by the but my hair was already long at that mm. point. Like, here in Malta, in oh. uh, Pastiz, uh, the norm is that you, you basically cut your hair every three weeks or something. Whoa. For men, anyway. Yeah. So they always have the same haircut and it never changes, but I play the rules differently and cut my hair every three months. So it gets really long uh, by the time it gets to cutting my hair. Yeah. And I was already at the point where I needed to cut my hair before the no-no timeout. So add another three months to that and I get like hair that's twice as long as it I'm used to. I think I did just happen to have a haircut right before it all started, but this thing lasted so long anyway, it didn't really matter, you know? Are barbershops open there? Some, they really shouldn't be, but the thing is, people need to work, you know? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, they'll open for the idiots, but the problem is, like, I feel like if we keep succumbing to the people who want to go out there and risk all that, because here, uh, if you go out there and you try, well, obviously you just said there was some big party that compromised some stuff, but uh, it's super unsafe here. It is all over the no-no stuff, and um, it's like you can't, it's like a challenge to some of these dummies that live here, and they're like, you can't tell me what to do. Yeah. And all of a sudden That's it just gets worse. Like, we cannot flatten this curve at all because of some people who just will not do it. They will not pay attention. They will not. Yeah, here it's calmed it. down really, really quickly. Like, uh, it started being a problem around March, I think. It came in Malta around March. Yeah. And we were, like, over it by almost over it by the time June came around. So it was only, like, three months. And it wasn't like always stuck in the uh, restrictions got lifted up event, uh, gradually. Right. So, but now everyone's just afraid of a second wave coming because of that big party. Because like, as I said, there were like 500 people there and someone was tested positive. Was it outdoors only? Yeah, it was a pool party. Yeah, sometimes it might help. I mean, it's... It spreads through the air, and you know what makes it even worse? It actually spreads through water, so... Yeah. yeah. I mean, I shouldn't have anything to worry about unless I was really unlucky and... ...met one person at a pool party or something while I was at the party. Everyone uh, who went to the party had to get tested. It's mandatory. Someone from uh, Kim's work... Her manager actually just took a trip to one of the most dangerous cities in the entire country. You know, maybe the most dangerous city in the entire country right now for that no no thing. Mm -hmm. Went on vacation and then what? came back to work without self quarantining, which, by the way, goes against. Um, the regulations of the place, and uh, they couldn't get them to leave. I hate hypocrites yeah. so much. It's like these same people are the ones who all constantly whine about not being able to go out, when they're the ones creating the problem in the first place. Right, like we can't quash this just because there's a few people who just cannot just stay home and it's just making it take so much longer for the rest of us yeah it's it's so fast almost fascinating how we're getting we as a human race are getting so much smarter but at the same time so much stupider as well like I I'd think imagine we're getting dumber I think we're just revealing the dumb ones in us no, they I think we're just giving them power. The I think we're just giving them power, honestly. 
Yes. And we're because afraid to offend them. Yeah, because where before they would have to conform, now they have the power to do whatever they want. Yeah, well, here they think they have a whole lot of other power too, and they don't have that. Ooh! Did you see a sparkle? Kim is bringing home food. Ooh, food makes you eat. Eat is good. Eat is good. Pretty sure my inks take the most amount of time with this stuff. Or at least I'm taking the most amount of time with my inks. I'll definitely do a Ridley at one point. I could just like take the two of them out and then just like do a huge Ridley later. Yeah, I need I need to get a commission soon. It's just that I've been going kind of on a spending spree recently. You've been on a spending spree? Yeah, because I've been saving up for a long time now, and a bunch of stuff that I like is coming out, so... <laughs> I have, uh... Oh, jeez. Well, clearly I had to just start working. I, I have, uh, my expenses have gone through the roof lately. And if anything, uh, uh, channel stuff has been easier because finally I'm starting to get some review copy codes for some games. Granted, oh. um, one that I really wanted to play the developer just did not respond to me whatsoever. Didn't even tell me how I'm supposed to qualify even to get a copy for a code. And the game has just come out and um, no reply from them. The game is Carrion from Devolver Digital. Uh -huh. I want to play that game. So bad. But They don't want to talk to the likes of me. Some some dev devs are just like that. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. And I probably, you know, I could kind of tell, you know, from the way that they advertise themselves that they're, they are very full of their reputation. <laughs> you know, they want very particular people to showcase their stuff. But at the same time, like, I'm such a big Metroid fan. You know, I'm I'm gonna like that game. <laughs> you know, it's like a Metroidvania sort of where you're basically like a reverse um, horror movie kind of like monster kills the people sort of thing. Actually, this would be a little. Shorter. Oh, I'm reading up on it. Looks nice. I really want to play it. <laughs> And I'm actually hearing good stuff about it, too. I've been watching that game for a long time. Anyway, that's just one. But still, yeah, I've got a bunch of other stuff that I'd like to At least you got to destroy our humans. Hmm? That's some destroy all humans is something I've been hearing about of hype. Yeah, destroy all humans. I'm glad that uh, THQ Nordic still gave me a code. Because <laughs> uh, I was worried after Spongebob. So I was like, oh man, I feel so bad. That Spongebob stream, I feel like I, I didn't like it. I didn't think I did very well. Um, I mean, like, to be fair... I played that game a long time ago, so I already knew all the jokes. Um, uh, yeah, and yeah, I, I was really I feeling sick, so the I was like uh, kind of groggy. I don't know. I feel like it just was yeah. not a good time to do that, you know. Yeah, I could tell you're you're not into it at all. It's okay. To be fair, I, I really liked yeah. it when I was a kid. The game's not bad. That's not it at yeah, all. Yeah, but yeah. that's the problem. It's made for kids. Yeah. It's, it's a, it, it is definitely a kid's game. Uh, I could see myself playing it when I was younger. But now it just isn't really my style. Yeah. It just gets way too repetitive way too quickly for me. Well, that's just... Be you mean just... Um, uh, collectathons? 
Yeah. I don't really like collectathons. Yeah, see, it's a 90s era thing. I like Metroidvanias. Metroidvanias are always awesome. Yeah, I haven't gotten to finish Hollow Knight yet, but I need to continue playing it. I mostly stopped playing it because I had a pretty crappy controller. Yeah, that will um, really beat you up. Because um, the game is hard. Mm -hmm. I really want to play Dark Souls 3 as well, but my controller doesn't work on it for some reason. I've heard that um, Dark Souls 2 is only like half as good as 1, it's like not the same thing, and then 3 was only like half as good as 2, so it just progressively just is like mid it way, its way out, which is why we kind of don't get more. And then, of course, I think we were complaining about this before, people like to give Dark Souls its own genre of Dark Souls-like. Yeah. Souls like, Souls like yeah, which is yeah, like Sekiro, for example. Freaking stupid, yeah. I mean, I understand why they would want to give it a genre. It needs a genre. You should come up with one, a word, not yeah. But like at the same Souls time, genre. yeah. I think did we have this conversation? Like, because I was complaining about. No. I think it was during the, maybe it was during SpongeBob. I was complaining about how Metroidvania, same thing happens. And yeah, then, yeah. Monster Hunter like, you know, like that's not fair. You shouldn't compare games like that. And then yeah. like inevitably um new games are only inferior to previous ones, which yeah, you don't want that. You definitely don't want that. I don't know. I liked Dark Souls 3. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. There's people, of course, you know, you can still like it and say that it wasn't, it was bad. I really I'm like just the saying, like, Dark it. Souls. It's not got that same feeling to it. Mm -hmm. I know that they're releasing a remastered version of Demon Souls, which was basically the precursor for Dark Souls. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't know why, but Bloodborne was the. Uh, one of that set that I always looked at and went and kind of eyed, like, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I... Hmm. I don't know if Blood Bloodborne is set in the same universe as Dark Souls. Um... I don't know that either. I maybe I don't know, maybe there's a theory floating around or it's confirmed. I don't know if it matters. Yeah. I mean, like... I also really like Sekiro. Yeah. Yeah, I heard Sekiro was really good. I yeah, still, it's... yeah, I I still have this vendetta against it because it robbed the uh, Game Awards, yeah. <laughs> and it was like the very last straw of a really bad show. So that that kind of, uh, you know, pissed in the bathwater. Yeah, but it was a pretty good game. I enjoyed it. Yeah, but pretty good game shouldn't beat out like the. Clearly the biggest thing of the entire year. The game that was just like driving the internet mad. But making yeah. stupid money. It, yeah, I know sales isn't a thing in that, but even if it was... Uh, what game are you talking about? Smash Brothers. Ah, oh, Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers should have annihilated Sekiro, but the thing is it's like... The Game Awards are known for being really biased towards games that just happen to come out. Uh-huh. Because it's like, whoa, it's the last thing we played. It was really good. And that's all it takes. And it wins Game of the Year. Huh. They're really bad at that. The thing with Sekiro really is... The, the thing with Sekiro is I got to a point where it just became too frustrating to play and I just stopped playing it. Really? Yeah. That rarely happens to me. This You're talking to a guy who spent three years trying to kill Tigrex and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. And he kept going at it until I 
You know, that's another game I've considered streaming. I do have that functioning. Um, I don't remember who actually helped me with that. If it was Rowan, I'm gonna feel really bad because he's gonna hop in the stream and be like, I did that! But somebody helped me set it up in um, an emulator so that I can actually play the game without using the crappy PSP controls. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, and in addition to that, um, they also found some way that I could play it on a server with other people, and, like, you guys could actually use the same emulation stuff and join me and hunt with me in you Freedom Unite. You have to Unite. tell me how that, how that happens, because I'd love to try it. Yeah, I'd have that to. Game, Honestly, I don't know. That remember. game is my childhood. I think I was, like, a late teenager when... Yeah, I when, when I first played this, you were 18. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Cause, cause I was eight. That's why my uncle got it for me for my eighth birthday. I remember it vividly. Wow. Yeah. Eighth birthday. Yeah. I remember having to spend three days to figure out how to jump off on a ledge. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, I think I was uh, five or six playing the original Pokemon blue on um, my Game Boy Color, and I needed help from an adult to help me figure out how to exit the door in um, <laughs> the first room. I know it's, it sounds silly just like, how do you jump off a ledge, but like, if you think about it, there were no other video games, right? Yeah. And like, if you look at those original Pokemon doors, it's just a, a rectangle on the ground. So it didn't really make any sense. It's like, we looked at it, we were like, that's definitely the door, but what are we supposed to do? Do we like push a button to open it? And we were trying all sorts of stuff and nothing more. Of course, like you just walk through it, which was just a little weird, but hey, it worked. Uh. How am I supposed to say this name? I want to welcome this person, but I don't know how to say their name. Dointy 12 machli hi. Sorry, I butchered your name. You should frenetically spell it for me. Because <laughs> I'm too stupid to say it properly. Man, it's getting late here. It's 1.30. Wow. Yeah, you know, uh, Kim is on her way back now, and in about 30, I'm going to have to get off anyway, so I can eat some munchies try and get farther in Digimon. You know, I might even just do that, because I'm about to start the back. Um, we'll put Zero back. See. We don't even see this. <laughs> well, we're not gonna see this. At least you can see that part. This is looking a little bit better. I I'm glad that. Wow. How, how long did I spend just on this? Well, granted, this is not something that I'm used to drawing. <laughs> you know, sci-fi stuff. I'm not really great at this. It's not my thing. But I'm trying. I should probably do the you other shoulders and um. Yeah, the other shoulder pad while I'm used to how they look. You know, uh, the thing I really suck at drawing, but I'm really persistent at, is human figures. I I suck at drawing human figures, but I just can't stop drawing them. You know, um, I was planning on doing some work in my graphic novel today to show you guys a little bit of work on that. Um, changed my mind. I actually have uh, some of the pages pulled up in here. In fact, quick showcase of that. Uh, I'm working on, um, this is chapter 3, this is page 55 up here, um, and then same deal for a 56, I was going to pull this one up and work on it, so lots of people, figures in that one to work on, but maybe another time. best Ridley fights I've ever played. I think I am going to black this in. So, of the next things that I should play, uh, I think I will rearrange my schedule so I can do Destroy All Humans next week. 
Um, wondering what else. Hmm. What should I do after that? So I feel like I, I should just start completing stuff that I've already started. I don't want to start any other new stuff. I uh, maybe you're in the blind forest. You can finish it in one stream. Maybe if that's possible. Um, I'm kind of thinking uh, Black Mesa because we started that one earlier, and I don't want that to turn into one of those. Hey, I'm turning this on after years, you know. Uh. Before it gets that bad. Um, but yeah, Ori in the Blind Forest is definitely a very soon after. <laughs> As soon as that's out, yeah, we're gonna, gonna go back to it. Um, shoot, this is actually uh, not lining up properly with where those were supposed to go. Um, actually, more like there. Um, back was hair pulling. Trick food. Oh. Okay, you shouldn't do that. Um. Hope you can get some, uh, help with that. It's definitely not something you want to do. Like, I mess with my nails, and I know I shouldn't. Squad uh, neurotically talks about butts and poop jokes. Uh huh. Poop. Huh? Poop, see? Uh huh, poop. I went through a phase when I used to pull out my hair. Yeah. Yeah, when it was really long. I'd get like frustrated or something and just pull out a couple of strands. Mm. Just instinctively. I get irritated with like certain strands that just won't lay the right way and I'll pop them out. But that's kind of different. I used to... I used to worry a lot that I'm gonna pull my all my hair out eventually and go completely bald. Yeah, I had that weird fear too, which is just kind of silly. But at the same time, I was also like, "But isn't it all gonna grow back weird if I keep doing this?" Mm. Yeah. Kind of what stopped me. Yeah, same here. Man, you know what sucks in Malta during the summer? Hmm. The skeeters. Oh my gosh, I bet. Ugh. I'm just... full of skeeter bites. My blood is delicious. Whenever I'm around but mosquitoes, they go for me like crazy. I can coat myself in all of the products. It doesn't matter. I'm you know, I I heard something today that I really want to test out. Yeah. I heard that if a skeeter bites you and you flex the, uh, you like contract the muscle this that is the skeeter is on. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds so stupid that it might actually be real, and I really want to try it. If you like contract the muscle, you send so much blood up the mosquito that it just explodes. No, that's not gonna work. I have to try it though. <laughs> I have to. I have to try it. It's what if it's true and I gain this power? I will be unstoppable. Just try and find it online. And it won't happen. Because no, that's just so stupid. They're just trying to get someone to be dumb enough to let mosquitoes bite them. You're not stupid, are you, squad fam? What a strange, silly question. You really just trying to find it online? Yeah. That's actually a common myth. <laughs> Mythbusters need to do it then. Yeah, apparently it is fake, but I still need to try it. <laughs> it's not like you control your own blood pressure like, that intensely with muscles. Yeah, yeah. You know, I read, um... But it just sounds the, so amazing. I his name, but the Asian guy from Mythbusters just died recently. Oh, Grant Imahara, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sucks. I don't remember what happened, if, if something happened. He had, had a brain aneurysm. 
really. Yeah. That is sad. It is. Yeah, those just come out of nowhere. Yeah, I I really liked Mythbusters when it was on. Mm -hmm. It was one of those good shows that I couldn't resist watching when it came on TV. Like, there are rarely shows that just attract me to the television, but it was one of them. The only thing I really didn't like about it was, like, some of the later seasons would basically spend so much time padding and padding when, we're like, you know, you could just do this really quick experiment and it would be like, oh, okay. But instead, they try and set something up forever and it's just go Yeah, on. you know, I understand that, but at the same time, how many myths are there that you can make an entire episode on? Right. I, you know, I get how it's the run show out eventually, yeah, will become problematic, but... Yeah, and, you know, I think it stopped at a really good time, too. It's what Adam Savage said about the program. He said that he didn't want to make it last too long, that it starts declining. Mm -hmm. He wanted to stop at its peak, because they were at its peak, and the show just started steadily... started to decline, and he just wanted to leave it at that, and not tarnish its legacy by basically beating at a horse. Right, making crappy episodes, which honestly, yeah. some of them I remember were just like, ugh, it was a waste of my time. Yeah, but I like the premise of it. It's... Yeah, yeah, I like the idea. The, the thing is, like, that show would work way better nowadays as, like, three-minute YouTube videos. Yeah, it would. Uh, Adam Savage has a YouTube channel, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's very interesting. I bet it is. He's yeah, an interesting he's... guy. Yeah, he makes a lot of cosplay costumes. That was his job before Mythbusters. Yeah, well, he, he made like... But he, he made it for like, Hollywood set stuff. Special yeah, he stuff. made he made like a refrigerated spacesuit or something. Which sounds amazing. I need a refrigerated spacesuit in my life. Sounds like you just need Adam Savage in your life. Of course we do. Who doesn't? He looks like such a nice guy. He is a, he's a nice guy. I've heard many podcasts with him. Uh, yeah, I wish I could listen to your podcast on Spotify, but since you had... Are they still on Spotify? They should be. Since you're... Because I thought... Was it not there? That no, it was. I used to listen to them on the bus on my way home from school. Yeah, yeah, okay, they're still here. I thought they got removed. Oh, this is good. I can listen to them now. I mean, um, they're still on YouTube as well, so... Yeah, but I need to download them while I'm offline. Mm -hmm. And I already have Spotify Premium and don't have YouTube Premium. YouTube Premium is a waste. Um, I did use, finally used my trial for it because I was uh, on a, taking a road trip a few weeks ago with Kim to Michigan. Michigan. And yeah, and uh, on the car ride up, um, she wanted to listen to something. She said she was out of podcasts. So I was like, okay, well, I want to, I'll pick something out. Um, I was like, oh, well, hey, you would really like the gaming historian. And so I, wanted to download some of his videos just as like audio which you can't do and i was like okay cool so then i tried to use third party stuff to do it and it was just getting really messy so in the end i was like all right whatever i'm just gonna do this um with the trial mm -hmm. whatever spotify premium's trial is really worth it you get like three months free I like Spotify. So yeah, I'm gonna save some podcasts while I'm on buses. But since right now I'm not using buses, it might be a while since I listened to them. I remember listening to the one about Rathalos on the bus. It's like our second Do You Physics, I think, on yeah. Monsters. Yeah, I think Matt's on that one. Yeah, he is. 
Pokedex Paradox ended up being like the go-to uh, one to make. <laughs> yeah, I remember you and him making a joke about gingers not having soul and I almost burst out laughing on the bus. <laughs> I think that's a South Park joke. Yeah, I. It probably is. I don't know it from South Park, but it's a South Park joke, I guess. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, shoot, actually, that is. Uh... Oh, okay. So that's just a grayed out section. Hmm. Did we actually you run know, out of musics? The thing I suffer with when drawing faces is that I can make them more or less look like the person, but something just is off about them. And I'm really a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff, so if one line looks out of place, I'm going out of my way to fix it. And maybe that's my problem. Hmm. I think Zero because face is right around here. So here, what's... I mean, I kind of did the same thing. Neurotically messed with it for a long time. That's what I'm Because I've noticed... Here with you and a lot of other people who do art they don't mind if a line looks a bit out of place because in the final version of the image it's not gonna matter yeah like it it isn't like that visible and it won't look but since i know it's there i just can't stop looking at it that's not really a uh, good thing for you know trying to get your work done you know, you gotta move. Yeah, it's just something I can't get past. And I really like drawing realistic stuff, so it doesn't help it either. Because if you... Because if you... I feel like if you draw something cartoony, there's a little more uh, room for error. Yes, there's since, much more. Yeah. Especially but when you're mimicking like something that you know what it looks like. Like this... Uh, Metroid thing I'm doing like or even the zero suit like you actually the zero suit might have even been harder because you know What normal human anatomy looks like so you're gonna know if I screwed something up and Then there's the fact that like the suit is really weird and I gotta like figure out how the patterning wraps around like the the body and everything and Yeah, that's all really tough. I don't even have that Official art right up now because I'm not working on her right now. I'm working on the outfit for the the gravity suit which, by the way, I'm making a gravity suit. <laughs> I didn't say that yet. This is the gravity suit. I'm gonna color it like that one, because it's cooler! Purple. Purple. It reminds me of Alatrion. The gravity suit? Yeah. You know, um... I kinda see it. Oh yeah, I don't have to tell you that's a gravity suit. You can see it, because I put the art up there. I don't see what you guys see, obviously. I just see Photoshop. Be really weird. My entire life, I actually just saw a little camera in the corner of my my eye of myself. Huh? My yeah. Door is open behind me. You know, I keep live streams muted one because it interrupts my when I speak, and two because I hate hearing my own voice. <laughs> That's it's why I don't look back on live streams where I'm in them, because if I just hear myself, I'm gonna cringe so hard. Because it's not natural. It's, I mean, it's gotten easier to speak in English, but it's still not, you know, my natural uh, go-to mode of speaking. So, yeah. Uh, well, since I don't have that natural accent, it's not gonna sound nice. You'd be surprised. Yours. yours is not very. Your accent is not very thick. No, I've. Uh, I mean. <laughs> When it comes down to Maltese people, yeah, my accent's not bad at all. I remember once, um, my school and my old school, we used to have speaking exams. Mm -hmm. And it was graded based on uh, from 1 to 10, basically. Mm -hmm. one, with, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest mark you can get. Oh, 0 being the lowest, actually. And a teacher told us once that he, some teachers in the school, if they tried the exam, they probably wouldn't even be able to get a 10 because it was just that hard to get a 10. And mm -hmm. that very year I got a 10. And I remember I was... I boasted about it so much to my friends. 
because I remember the teacher that I did my speaking exam with, he just looked me in the eye and said, you know what, I'm gonna give you a 10 right now. <laughs> I was like, wow, really? <laughs> he was like, yeah. My, my phone's gotta go nuts when I do this. But yeah, speaking in speak English isn't really my, uh, that hard for me to grasp. I've always kind of had a knack for English. It's always been my forte. Now psychology is more of my forte, actually. Believe it or not. Human brains are very weird. They are very weird. You know what's weirder than the human brain? The unconscious human brain. That's where stuff gets soupy. Most of the time, it's just trying to recover itself and fix things. Yeah. And that's what's weird. Oh. Well, oh. what people's perceptions of what's happening while they're unconscious is... They'll tell you the strangest stuff. Oh boy, that's where someone called Sigmund Freud comes in. Mm -hmm. I remember your video on Sigmund Freud. It's a good video. Batman's a lunatic. Yeah, but in all the good ways. I don't know how there's... I... Good... As in like, uh, not in the literal... He comes out when a full moon is there, and he becomes crazy kind of way, but he naturally is crazy kind of way. Yeah, but I love psychoanalysis so much as a school of thought of psychology. Uh, in, in my school we do a... Uh, in Malta anyways, we cover five schools of thoughts, we cover behaviorism, Mm -hmm. Psychoanalysis, structuralism, functionalism, and humanism. And my favorite two are behaviorism and psychoanalysis. Behaviorism is the one with Ivan, Ivan Pavlov, if you know who he is. Yes. The one who Pavlov tested yeah. for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's behaviorism. That's uh, classical Makes conditioning. Sense. Yeah, then there's also B.F. Skinner, who did the experiment with uh, Skinner Box, if you've heard of it. Uh, remind me of that one. I'll probably remember as soon as you tell me. It's uh, an experiment where they put a bunch of rats in a cage and they uh, put food behind the lever. And basically whenever uh, rats would pull the lever, food would be dispensed. So eventually the rats just uh, conditioned themselves to realize that, oh, when you pull this lever, I get rewarded with food. So they mm -hmm. just constantly pull the lever. And that's called operant conditioning. It's... Uh, kind of with uh, works with reinforcements and punishments and stuff like that. It's basically what you do to little kids to teach them what's right and wrong. Right. It's a really interesting school of thought. She's got this like freaking huge gauntlet like thing that's uh trying to figure out how it works. Yeah, it's really just on the sides. Okay. Metroid looks like the game I would have really gotten into when I was younger, but never did. It's the game that you should really get into now, because it's always good. I do like to play the Prime games. If it comes out on PC, I might buy four. If it comes out of Nintendo. Nintendo, man, it's never going to come out on Steam. Yeah, I mean, if but, it comes out on the Switch, I can also get it. Yeah, they need to give out the Prime Trilogy on Switch. Now, um, Prime 1 is, like, absolutely outstanding. Just telling you now, that's probably going to be a perfect 10 out of 10 when I finally review it. But, um, the, uh, the second one is still very good. It's mm, not as good, I don't think. And then 3 is fun it's a different thing i still really like it 
Like, it's a different kind of enjoyment, but it's not the same kind of traditional Metroid, but still very good. Would recommend. All three. Oh, and for the last few weeks, I've been eating nothing but sushi, almost. You know, I think I've only had sushi once. It was outstanding. You know, it's one of those foods that doesn't make me feel like absolute garbage after eating. That's why I eat it so much. It just feels like a... It, it just feels clean to eat. If it, that makes sense. You're a real carnivore. Yeah. But even with other meats, it's like, especially sushi. That makes me feel good inside. That sounds so good. Yes, it did. We all thought it. It was bad. We all we all funk it. We all did the thinking. You're in trouble. Uh oh. Is the YouTube police coming for me? Not you, just me. Oh. Speaking of which, I got in trouble for uh, some music in that Naughty Dog, uh, or got na with Naughty Dog for that uh, Uncharted video. Uh. Did you get to see yeah, that, by the way? I haven't yet, no, because I was out all day. It, <laughs> yeah, but I was out all day. <laughs> yeah. I have oh, to yeah, see it tomorrow. Yeah, it did launch today. See, the thing is, like, I finished it, and I uploaded it days ago. Oh. Uh, because, um... Yeah, because you upload them days beforehand and schedule them for release. Yeah, but... I used to think your PC was just very consistent with upload times. I was like, wow, this guy has a nice PC to be able to upload at the same time exactly <laughs> every day. Then I realized that YouTube can do a thing. YouTube can do a thing if it wants to behave. Sometimes, however, it's Twitter will just be like, hey, there's a video here already. And I'm like, no, you don't give them that yet. And it's like, hey, everybody, look at this. I'm like, no, it's not there yet. And they're like, oh, but look, it's there. Twitter. Huh. Oh, YouTube. Yeah, Twitter? And Twitter. Twitter's a twit. Oh, I... Th for for a split second, I, I thought you said something else. And my mind just zoned off. Okay. Don't tell me. <laughs> no, no, I won't, I won't. Alright, uh, I think there's one more... Like big circle brace, no. Um, because I'm watching the part where you're drawing circles. Yeah, it, it's it's very strange. Uh, oh, 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 hold on. There's this though. There's another. Uh... You know, uh, Discord bots have really been acting up recently. Yeah. Yeah, on on your server with the thumbnails and stuff. I think that's YouTube, though. I was trying to figure that out, actually. Is it still you know, showing um, the Cosmos and Siri art? Discord? Let me check. Because it did let it earlier, check. and I, I was complaining about it in the... Uh, uh, no, chat. it's not. Okay. It does update. I don't know why it does that beforehand, but it does show the wrong stuff. You know, if I get to that point, I might actually start coding a Discord, Discord bot myself. Gonna, since I'm gonna take a gap year this year, I'm gonna have a lot of free time. I might just learn another programming language, and if I do, I just might program a bot with it. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I really like coding. It's fun. It's like a puzzle, and me like puzzles. I do enjoy uh, a good puzzle game. Like, Super Liminal was a really good one. I was surprised with how I, good that was. Yeah, I didn't get to watch it. I kept expecting that to fall short, and, uh... Because, like, a lot of... I, I remember some reviews, people were very harsh on it. I thought, wow, that seems very unfair, and then I played it. Whoa! Unfortunately, Is I had the opposite expectations with Carrion. Like, I'm so excited to play that game, and I bet as soon as I do... I'm gonna be like, no, it's just okay. I hear it's mm. very short. 
It's one of those twenty-dollar games that you can beat in three hours. Uh. Yeah. Makes me a little sad. Hey, yeah, Doodle, how I you mean, doing? What was that squad? I might, I might just get Ori and the Blind Forest too eventually as well. The yeah. thing I had with Ori and the Blind Forest was it was so short. Mm. It was like it's amazing an game, to look though. at. It, it, it takes a lot of time and effort to make that stuff. Yeah, it's it's like a piece of art more than a game. It tells a story. Yeah. Because it's difficult, but it's not as difficult as Hollow Knight. And it isn't as gameplay intensive as Hollow Knight. It's more there to be fun. Than to and to tell a story. Than to be an actual game, if that makes sense. I guess, yeah. Um, it's weird because I think Hollow Knight does that very well. Um, and... There are certain bits of Ori in the Blind Forest that do that amazingly. It's the gameplay I have a problem with, and the gameplay which was just infuriating. Yeah, um, that's. I think that's their problem with playing uh, Hollow Knight first, because me playing Ori and the Blind Forest first and then Hollow Knight, I could make the transition much easier. For me, the controls on Hollow Knight were a bit weird at the beginning, but I could make the transition much easier. Because first of all, I didn't play uh, Ori in the Blind Forest for as long as I would have played Hollow Knight. So the controls kind of get ingrained in your head a bit more and it becomes more difficult to kind of fight the urge to play with Hollow Knight's controls. I don't, and at the same I never time, really had that problem with Hollow Knight though. I don't see how that is a possible issue that I could have had. I, I have no idea. I'm just stating what could have happened. Because as a whole, I, I prefer Hollow Knight as a game. Mm -hmm. But Ori and the Blind Forest is not bad. It's pretty good. It's just that Hollow Knight is more thoroughly... You can tell that... It's much more polished. Yeah. Ori is more of an experience. Hollow Knight is more of a traditional game. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Uh, I hate drawing hands so much. See, I'm not even referencing anything, I'm just making this up. You wanna know why? Uh, why? Ah, I was gonna say it's completely obscured, but it's not. <laughs> I just uh, turned Zero Suit back on. And you can definitely see that hand. It's fine though, I can draw it just fine. Sometimes your microphone really peaks. Yeah, it's been screwing up lately. I don't know what's up with that. Does this sound clear? Yeah, it does. And then the closer I get, I, get, I guess I peak sometimes? It shouldn't be peaking yeah. ever. Yeah, it's only recently that it's been doing this. Okay. It's like, um, it's not... It's not bad, but it just it's noticeable. It's it's hmm. Sometimes that happens when you do like a software update and my driver for my microphone isn't you know good anymore and um just got to keep fighting with it until it's, you know, going to start functioning again. Uh in there. I haven't done that yet. Knuckles. 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 That's a knee slapper. That's a cap slapper. Cap slapper. Slap on my caps. Ooh, now the sleepies are starting to set in. Yeah. Don't worry, yeah. I'll be off very soon. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, I'll wait until you do and I'll go, I'll, uh, I'll go to sleep. Don't have to wake up early tomorrow anyway, so... Oh, uh, you know, I might. <laughs> mm. You know what, sounds like I gotta get going anyway, I think I heard...
Kim get in, which makes sense. So I'm going to finish up the rest of that hand uh, later. And Doodle wanted to see the whole thing anyway, so I'm going to back it up. This is what we did on the gravity suit today, which um, I'd say it's about halfway through that. Um, kind of weird how the pinky is tucked under the armor a bit, by the way. It's so small. Also, once I'm done actually inking that with the rest of the hand, it'll make more sense. I know where it is right now. It looks a little weird. But that's what her gloves look like. They're very big and bulky. Anyway. So I'm going to put the other Samus back in really quick. Just so you, so you guys can see that. Um, like I said, I am going to have to get going. Um, I'm probably going to do some more art streams later. We can actually start working on like graphic novel stuff, which is over here. I just wanted to jump in and do something fun first. I still want to finish this... Uh, Metroid poster I was working on for a while. Um, but anyway, um, in terms of that, um, look forward to um, in this coming week, I'm going to be doing Destroy All Humans uh, soon after launch. Um, I work on launch day, so I can't do it that day. Um, but anyway, um, in addition to that, I don't know what game I'm doing next week for playing with myself just yet. Um, Squad, if you had to pick between The Witcher 1 and Bioshock, which one would you want to see? Witcher 1. Witcher 1. Ooh. See, I really wanted to do that for a long time, because that's, that's going to be a perfect one for that series, because like half of me loves it, half of me hates it, and I can really fight with myself on it. Anyway. Mm -hmm. That is going to do it for this stream. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Look forward to more uh, art streams in the future. Hopefully we can jump in, do some more commissions and uh, whatnot. So anyway, that'll be a thing. Thank you guys so much for joining. Remember to like the video, subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next stream. Bye-bye.